All right, welcome to Top in the Shop for October 27, 2016. I'm your stream host for this evening, Robbie Votaw. Welcome to a Halloween edition of Top in the Shop for broadcasting live from Alamo Draft House here in Kansas City, Missouri. Thanks for hanging out during casuals. We got some guys in costume tonight, myself included. Shout out to Dr. Kong Fu. Holding it down in the chat, I see you Norwood as well. Sorry you guys couldn't be out here tonight, but we are broadcasting live from Alamo Draft House. Thank you for hanging out with us. We've got Kansas City Top in the Shop coming up next. Hit that exclamation point bracket and you will be up to date on what is going down in the bracket. Joining me now on stream, on the commentary, on the mic is Mr. Fire Team. He's going Spooky to Team. Spooky team, fire yeah. scream. There's a couple different good ones out there. Scream no? team, scream team. If you guys have questions on uh, who the hell is who, because we're doing kind of, uh, it reminds me of uh, the Simpsons, the old uh, Treehouse of Horrors, where if you watch the Simpsons uh, credits, all of the people that have worked on the show all have like different scary names. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on tonight. So our first match is uh, Ryan's Ghost. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Which is a throwback to PPCNG owner Ryan Bimbrook. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, dude. And actually. For all your home, he's not actually dead. He's not actually dead. He's dead to us, though. <laughs> His memory <laughs> needs to be buried at the bottom of the sea. Uh, and then we have uh, basically Negan from uh, Walking Dead popularity. If you guys uh, haven't been on social media, you're probably living under a rock. But a lot of people have said over that recent development. I won't spoil it for you here. It's a top of the shop. It's a family atmosphere. Uh, let's see here. So we got winners. This is winners round one. We are just getting it started. So interesting that Chad has uh, recently made a switch to Nikali. And I saw yeah. you, guys were, you guys were playing casuals earlier. How does this Nikali feel? It's Nikali feels strong, strong, dude. The only thing is, um, you know, Chad's I guess weakness is execution. If I if I had to, if I had to put one, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Nikali does have some kind of higher execution barrier combos. So I'd like to see him uh, like it not really like it's not like the actual buttons. Round I'm not one. saying like the timing is hard, right. but the thing is like okay at this range you can do this. At this range you can do this. Right. And Just, yeah. And certain things don't work at certain ranges, and uh, if you just get to me again, that's just one of those things where it's like, oh, he's just, you know, he's just not familiar with the character, and right, yeah, absolutely, right. that's totally what it is. But once he gets those down, man, I, I definitely see Nikali being scary. Look at already just tearing through. I, I, the thing is, whenever whenever Chad picks up Nikali, the first thing that comes to my mind is like he probably thinking to himself, man, I didn't have to try nearly as hard for that win as I did when I play like Laura. Uh, yeah. Exactly, and the thing is, also he does so much more damage. Yeah, uh, you know, than than He's, more uh, on, always, on average. We always broke down Street Fighter Four characters where you could usually tell how good a character was based on their effort to success ratio. So. Uh, a character where a very good effort to success ratio in Street Fighter 4 would be like Evil Ryu. Yep. You got really good success out of the effort you put in. Whereas a character like Abel yeah. was like <laughs> a lot. It was like a five, three, three success, three effort to one yeah, success. Three Evil Ryu's to get your one yeah, success. Yeah, exactly. All right. And the so thing is, it's not only when we talk about success or like the effort. It's not only the effort you put outside the game on setups and training mode, right? And, and just practicing, but also in the game itself as well. Because you know, certain like Nikali, he has to do less combos to kill you right. than Laura. Actually, to be fair, Laura, if given the right opportunity, can kill you in less combos than Nikali. Sure. But to get those situations is so very hard that uh, you know, it's just it's honestly pretty much not even worth mentioning. Agreed. So. Uh I, basically, the tale of that match was uh, Chad put pressure on Josh. Josh did a lot of wake up EX flash kicks, which, to be fair, it is Nick, it is uh, Guile's only get off me button when he has meter. Uh, however, uh, Chad, with that fighting game experience, uh, was aware of it, kind of baited out. So right now, Ryan's Ghost making a pretty good attempt to try to keep Nikali out, try to zone. And I like that Chad is jumping in with the dive kick to try to deter the use of the classic crouch fierce punch by Guile. Yeah. And the thing is also, yeah, the dive kick you said blows up those normal anti-airs, yes. and that really, really is a big part of this match. So now Josh has to down charge to get that flash kick, and that makes him less mobile. Yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, is about Guile is the difference, you'd be like, why wouldn't you just play Ryu? Well, if you're going to play Guile, you need to understand that your defense needs to be paramount. It needs to be one of your best qualities, because you, you have to earn a space. The, the normal anti-air game is still there. It's just not as clear-cut as it has been in previous iterations of the character. And I mean, mm -hmm. when you watch Knuckle do anti-air with like all these crazy buttons, you're like, how come that doesn't work when I do it? Well, he's, he picks his space very, very well. So right now, I would like to see a V reversal, maybe, because that's another really good option that uh, Guile has. No confirming the trigger right there off that. Oh, nah, that's safe. Block? Yeah. Nice. Um, okay. Well, 
It worked out in the end, but I, I, a couple months from now, when when Josh is more comfortable, you know, comfortable with with, with with punishes like that, yeah, he would have got that. Yeah, the thing is, I'd like to see him do, uh, especially since when you do uh, stand fierce with Gal, you have enough time to get down charge. Yeah. So like the thing is, like you could have easily walked forward, stand fierce, crash me and punch, yeah. flash kick, like yeah, easy. And the but. key here is, guys, stand fierce. You cannot. You have to get that non-charging button in first before you get to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but he has plenty of time. You know, yeah, stand fierce, crouch strong, flash kick. Oh, nice jump out. I like that a lot here from uh, Ryan's Ghost. Getting out of the corner there. Really uh, really doing himself good. But the thing is, he needs to make sure not to take those disguises. When you see Negan this down back charging across the screen, you got to know that it's kind of like Chun Li yeah. in Street Fighter 4, which is down back charging across right. the screen. You just know she's charging Ultra. You yeah, know? Like yeah. It's, it's yeah. Pretty simple. Cross up here. There it is. Nice block by Chad. Thing is about Josh, and I always say is like one of his one of his weaknesses is he's playing a character that needs spacing. Thing is when he gets the advantageous space, he always like runs away. Like he gives it, he gives it up. And I like to see him have a little bit more confidence in being like, this is my spot, this is my zone, I'm gonna hold it. You gotta hold yeah. that down on that. Thing, oh. is, thing is also when he like when he when he kind of like turtles with Guile, he doesn't do down back, he does back. Right. Which is a right. huge difference. Like it, it, you don't realize it until you realize how much Josh has walked across the screen in one right, round. Right. You know, like no, that's exactly that's exactly the way that it is. It's it's not down back, it's just back. And you see it like when Josh gets okay, big damage opportunity here, gonna get the whole thing. No, it screws up oh, the flash no. kick. Still gives me quite a bit of damage though. I like that he switched sides too. Yeah. I try to get a little bit of positioning off that. And we've seen enough dive kicks now where Josh not so apt to do crouch uh, crouch fierce. Excellent link on the back fist. And, and they, you know, to touch on what you're saying is when you know a character has an anti-fireball move, especially a charge move, you want to throw a fireball. As soon as that character walks forward, then you throw a fireball. Yeah, like right there, boom, instant fireball. And the thing is, like, you can do uh, the, the Tempest or nice. whatever it's called. I think yeah. it's, no, it's not Tempest. It's the name of a super V trigger. Uh, whatever it is, the, right. the, the, the cross, it's not yeah. a cross, that's yeah. what it is. You can do his V skill, like, whenever they're not, whenever they are charging, because it has such a low recovery, you can do it anyway. Mm. But, like, the, the regular Sonic Boom, no way. See how Josh can finish this match out. Chad trying to find a way in. That's going to be plus. Uh, the jump. That's a really risky jump back. Yeah. Still, he's he's he. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like Josh is going to pull that out. So uh, there's a little. You know, you can definitely tell the character unfamiliarity coming through on uh, on Chad's side, just because he had some opportunities to capitalize. Like he got he got the stand roundhouse into V trigger and then just opted to walk forward instead. Yeah. But that, that stuff comes with time. You know, th this is not this is not a. Uh, this is not Chad's number one main yet. Oh no, and then that's the thing. He he told me in casual, he's like, yeah, I, I think my floor is still much better, but I I, sure. I I like I like how I'm playing Nikali, and I like that I'm getting better with him, and I like that uh, he's a bit. Seems like he's more in my wheelhouse. Good. Or he he's he's in my wheelhouse, and also a bit easier to play. I'm like, yeah, I 100 totally percent respect that. I, I like I like players that take it to their own accord. Like they're like, oh, my character sucks. They're like, okay, I'm done with that. I'm gonna pick another character. Like that's right. I 100 percent respect that. Switching attitude. characters with purpose, really. Yeah. You know, because even Sensei guy will pick a lower tier character to improve another aspect of his game. Yeah. That's the entirely reason why I played Mega and Street Fighter 4. But right now, Chad doing a really good job yeah. at meaties. And also you see him being very aggressive yeah. there. You see Josh is, as we talked about earlier, back mm -hmm. instead of down backing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Negan is just walking him to the corner, like just, or just dashing him to the corner in, in most cases, in fact, which is really sweet. Like see, see him doing pressure there. Uh, so now it seems da dash forward. And he's trying to just spam with normals to make Josh walk backward, and that's what's happening right now. Then he can get a couple more dashes in. And yeah, and impor just, and important to notice too is like Josh. I don't think he intentionally tried to do like a shimmy right there. He's trying to bait out probably a DP, but you haven't earned it yet. Like you need to set that precedence of I'm gonna throw you on your wake up. Yeah, he's not really shimmy. applied any pressure onto the wake up of right. Ryan's ghost, and that's a big thing you need to make sure to do. Even as guy, sorry, on the Negan, uh, as as his pressure really needs to happen for yes. like, they're like yeah, like he threw, but. That's just because, you know, he's just trying to be aggressive. But yeah. and, and, you know, I, 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 as you as you said, like Guile is a defensive character, but you need to apply the offense as well. It's just all Street Fighter Five. Every character needs to have that gear shift into yeah. extreme offense, and that's that's the number one reason why people play Ryu over Guile or they play Nash over Guile is is those modes of attack are a little bit more clear cut. Let's see what Josh has. And here. also, they're a little easier to get to, honestly. Keep it very simple on that. So like there, he, he's trying to do a shimmy or something, it looked like. Yeah, I'm not sure. To be fair, uh, he did. Negan did tech the last oh, time. Oh, that's his that's scramble situation. Oh, and he gets it with the. I was like, that forward light kick is super negative. It's like negative six, I think. Yeah, it's, it's very it's nice. way worse than uh, Nash's. Mm hmm. It's about the same, but to be fair, you can't, like, 
it's much harder to space because it's so short. Right. Well, you, you, the, the main use I've seen for it is you do trigger, and yeah. you go one, two, three, and then you do knee forward and super. Oh, it's yeah. so cool. Yeah, uh, no, it is sweet. Yeah, that is really cool looking. Because you can because the input for it, if you guys don't know at home, is back plus light kick as well as forward plus light kick. Mm -hmm. So you can keep charge while you do it. Oh, I didn't know it was also back. Yeah, but that's the reason why he could do it. All right, let's see if Josh get out of the corner now. Oh, nice bait. No, it's not going to work. Throws in the game are yeah, very they, low they recovery. Recover, yeah. yeah, they recover quick. But getting a lot of mileage off these big fierce buttons right here. Let's see. Good block. And, Good yep. block. I like that a lot there from uh, Ryan's Ghost. Not taking any damage. Getting out oh, of no. the, You have to realize it's not going to auto correct. Yeah. The only one that would have is light kick, and that's not kind of out. Good. He gets a cross up, screws up the combo. Yeah, drops it. Confirm. Oh, wow. Try, uh, damage. Oh, I should have just. I didn't have super. I'm looking at the wrong bar. Wow, nice overhead. Coming down to the wire here. Josh out of meter. Oh, no flash kick. This would be it. Oh, wow. That should have been. He was key to see. Yeah, I was to say that was super because he could have chipped out. Yeah. Could chip him out straight up. Wow, okay. Nice shot. Nice shot to Josh keeping composure. Rip. <laughs> yeah, rip indeed, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, two o oh, or two one two o oh, something like that right here. Yeah, for potato salad. All right, guys. So coming up next, we have despair and Valscaria. So uh, scare, scaria. Uh, despair here is a pair, and it is yeah. spelled as such. Despair. It's pretty cute, honestly, if you see it in person, <laughs> like just how it looks. But um. Valskaria not looking very scary, honestly, today. He looks pretty normal. Now, overall, I thought, because he made, he made that post on our local Facebook page, KCSRK, about winning the uh, costume con contest, and I thought, and he posted the picture of this of this great cami wig, yeah. and I thought he was he was like, oh, my girlfriend's going to win this contest free, and I thought he was going to total OS us and show up dressed as cami. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, too. I mean, well, because I, I assume he meant like, oh, my girlfriend made it, and then right, and yeah, then, and then he's. Gonna I was like, he's gonna go with Cammy. That's our. I, I thought though. I mean, the thing is, like, the blonde with the braid could also be Vega. Yeah, totally. All right, so uh, Valskaria is gonna be playing Vega, and Eggman, I think, has been pretty much settled on Yurian. On Yurian, yeah. yeah. So, so that's gonna be awesome. I love. I like to see Yurian players out here, especially since he is seems, as I talked about before, he seems to be the best DLC character. If I had to, if I had to say, mm -hmm. uh, maybe besides Guile, maybe, yeah, uh, it maybe. Yeah, they're like the best DLC characters for like different reasons. Yeah, you know, Guile like, because he just has a, he has this basic toolkit that can kind of work. Yurian right. because he actually seems like gets good tools. Yeah. Uh, now the, the the hard part about this particular matchup and just Yurian in general is is how do you stop the jump ins? And this is a Thing that's really going to be telling uh, how much does Despair know about Yurian's bug. So the two anti-airs... Uh, what? Okay, not Vega, never mind. But still... What? <laughs> I, hmm. Maybe it's a button check. I don't know. What? Maybe they're trying to show off the Halloween costume. Uh, I think it's a button check. It's Dude, look at, the, look at the pear color, though, on Yurian. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> he, showed up, he showed up ready. Yeah, he showed up ready to go. Oh, let's... I can't... It's got to be a button check. That, now, Valteria has been playing uh, Ryu. If Valteria picks Ryu, it's a throw. I think Despair will, oh, okay. will mop the floor with Valskaria. All right. Wow, nice. The Gokin special. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, need to punish that with a sweep. Yeah, yeah. well, that's really some jank tactics there. Dash forward sweep with Ryu. Uh, so the that's sweep, punishable? The sweep punish with Yurian is going to be low, strong, and the tackle probably, mm -hmm. probably going to be the better than just sweeping back. Or you can do stand fierce in the V trigger. Yeah, there you go. If you're nuts. If you're crazy. <laughs> Okay, right. so he gets the V skill off. Uh, so in other words, his next headbutt is like a pseudo wake up tool. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much across the board. That's how I've seen it been used applied. Is like when he has the V skill activated, his normal headbutt can absorb gets gets one click of armor, so it's gonna stop. But it's the, not the on frame one. So in right. other words, it's as we said earlier, it's like a pseudo wake up tool. It's kind of like it's kind of like regular flashscape with Guile. You know, I feel like they ran out of ideas with Urian's V skill. Yeah. Wow, what nice pseudo massive shimmy right there with that forward <laughs> medium punch. That forward medium punch also a good. It's broken. Button. Yeah, it's very good. Keep it very simple. Oh, okay. You want to one? Reflector, reflector, okay. let's go. Okay, going to get it. Wow, I went for the high one. Do another one. Overhead? Move there it is. Up. EXDP. Never ending chicken waffles gets 2 1 over Donald Trumpo. Got it. Okay. So, this spare, there we go, getting in with the EX shoulder tackle. Good crash medium punch to punish the DP, but I like to see a little bit bigger punish. 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's also the thing about Yurian outside of V Trigger. He really doesn't have a lot. I mean, his, they did his good damage off the Crouch Fierce combos. He does pretty good damage. Wow, good combo. Oh, he messes with the combo. They could have got a huge confirm. Wow, Crouch Stab in the DP. That, that was just that, I that think that raw. Guy. What the hell? Like, you, you go two ways with that. You either think as a player, did he try to meaty mean, screwed up, and get DP, or did he. Is he nuts? Or did he do meaty, super turbo DP <laughs> that's safe on block? The thing about that here, he's playing so. Um, Ragtag is that yeah. like it's yeah. hard to put a put hard to put a you know it, you just can't get a read in this guy right now he's just so nuts like yeah, he's a sweep it, it feels like he's spinning the wheel of every button where yeah. he has and just doing it and sometimes he's, they hit and sometimes they don't and you go oh he could have got big damage there but you go no he's not trying to get big damage he's trying to see what works here yeah see like there he did empty jump low forward like that was pretty nuts oh he screwed up the throw yeah. you have to make sure to realize that uh you know has a ton of blocks done there on the uh on the Aegis Reflector. The Aegis Reflector. Okay, by the way, yes. On here's the storm. They have BlizzCon this okay. week, and uh, one of the abilities is Crystal Aegis. And of course, it looks like Aegis. How did the announcer say? And one? every single announcer was told beforehand to say Aegis, oh. and all of them say Aegis. So I was really proud. I'm like, wow, dude. Okay. That's sweet. <laughs> Blizzard showing off that esports. Yeah. Uh, budget. <laughs> yeah, dude. They, they, they got all the casters on the same page. They all say Aegis. Anyway, so all your home. It's not Crystal. It's not. Aegis, Aegis reflector. reflector. If you want to be pedantic like me, you could say Aegis Reflector, or just be a normal human being and saying Aegis like everybody else. <laughs> you know? It's your choice, dude. Uh, so off jabs to try to make it pseudo safe for P players who might not be aware of the matchup. You want to do the light headbutt, um, just because it's going to put you at a space. I think you do like the medium shoulder tackle. It doesn't look right. safe at all. No, it is definitely not. All right, Reflector to stay in front. He does the back Reflector. So do he's it again. Do it again. Yep, that's going to bounce. Yeah, and he's oh, dead. Bounce. And then hold on. Oh, oh man, <laughs> Capcom. <laughs> Capcom, please. Whenever I've been playing Urian, the Aegis Reflector hit confirms are really important. I'm not talking about hit straight into the Aegis Reflector. I'm talking about reacting to how your opponent blocks it because you still have an opportunity to, get a combo. to be interactive. Yeah, yeah. and it's 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 it, but it's a very split second rescission. It's very much a hit confirm. Even on, it's like a block confirm. How are they blocking this Aegis Reflector? And I need to respond appropriately. Yeah, because like if you do like an overhead and then into low medium kick or something, right. like if the if the overhead hits, you need to do a different timing of yes. the low medium kick than yep. than normal. That's the thing. It's like you just have to know what's up. Uh, here we go, full punish. He goes for a sweep instead. He had full V trigger and crush counter. He did on like a 700 damage combo. No joke. I'm gonna see. We're gonna see an EXDP here by Valteria. When he gets under pressure next, you're gonna see EXDP. Oh my God! Gonna double back roundhouse. Oh. He should have. He should have wake up reflector. It would have worked. Oh, uh, here we go. He's gonna get some cool. No. Oh, oh there dude. it is. There it is, dude. Oh my God. Oh. Called out. Called out nine years you. ago. <laughs> nine so years time, ago. Next time there's a pressure situation, gonna see that EX Shoryuken. Nice oh my God. The 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 start of round Tatsu. Is this boy crazy. This boy is crazy. Okay, at least the headbutt's more safe. It didn't seem to be safe enough though. Yeah. Full jump in here on the Urian. Doesn't go for the Tatsu. Overhead. Oh, uh, he didn't go full punish? No. Again, it seemed like uh, Despair not having those crush counter yeah. combos. And, and with not, Urian, that's such a big part of his game plan. It, it's kind of the way Nash is, right? When you tell me, like, you know, Nash doesn't really do a lot of damage. Yeah, he gets a crush counter. Unless you crush counter. Yeah, because, like, Urian, especially, he doesn't have to be in the right range at all either. He just does the stand fierce, and then you can dash forward and get your full combo. Reflector. Wait full screen, let him throw a fireball, and just reflector. Right here. You even. Ooh. Oh, wow. The last touch. Still arm. So guard ropes. Punish that. Oh, we need to see Reflector here from uh, Despair. He's got to get it out. Or he needs to be reversed. He's trying to stay mean kick in the Reflector. There it is. He's going to get it. The, uh, Too XDP. early again. DXDP. Yeah. Next one, DXDP. We're going to call it right now. Oh, my God. Reflector. Let's go. Oh, okay. That Super? Oh. Super's a great anti-air tool for Urian, too. Block stops the cross. Oh. oh. He's not going to get a chance. Oh, that was a reversal headbutt, too. It still didn't even punish. All right. So, Valskaria going to take the game there. So, interesting choice going with Ryu. I mean, it worked out. So, uh, end of the day, that's all you can really ask for. Maybe, but, uh, maybe like, Vega... Yeah. Vega Nerian sucks. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so, coming up next, that man, that's already round one, top in the shop, uh, concluded. So, coming up next, if you guys want to hit exclamation point bracket, you can stay up to date with everything going on. Again, this is the Halloween edition of Top in the shop here. Our team died. House. That's so funny. Um, so, let's... I guess I'll go play. I'll just get my match out of the way. Sure. And uh, so thanks guys for watching and more Top in the Shop coming up next. I'm going to call Loser's Bracket and we'll get the rest of the tournament going. On an open setup, on an open setup, I need Despair and Spooky Bleed. On stream, I need myself and uh, John. Go.
goes to Ryan. But it's upsetting because that's that yeah. he was a punch bowl on hit that'd be his most game. What? All right, we got Watson Chan on the mic. What's up, guys? What's up, Chris? <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? So we're gonna have uh, Yo Robbie versus uh, Josh. <laughs> this is gonna be an awesome match. Yeah. Ken versus uh, whoever Josh decides to play. I know he's a fan of several characters. It looks game. like he is finally settling on a character, and it looks like it's Guile. I like that choice. I like that choice a lot too. I think Guile is the best characters of best of the characters that he's interested in. I agree. I agree with that too. And also the thing is also the well, also the thing is also I need to repeat the words I say over and over. Um, <laughs> the thing is also he's the most honest character uh, that also that he plays like that um, that. Sure. That Josh plays. Because, like, Geef and Bison are pretty gimmicky, but once you know the gimmicks, they are pretty terrible. Yeah, and the thing is also, Guile's really solid, and that's what I like about it. It's going to allow um, yes. it's gonna allow Josh to get better as a player, especially since, um, you know, the character itself, this is the wrong game to play Guile in, all things considered. It's just the yeah. wrong game. <laughs> you know, he just, you know, he's, he's trying to play defensive and everything, and then, you know, and then everybody's just trying to wreck his face with, uh, you know, jump-ins and everything. Like, you know, for example, Ken. Like, he's just trying to EX Tatsu like a maniac. That's his entire game plan. Yeah. And Guile, like, has to flash kick that, like, normal <laughs> anti-air. Oh, shit, dude, work. I didn't get it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I did not get it. Wow. Uh, that sure you can jack-o'-lantern is awesome. Yeah, it is. I want that. Okay, I gotta keep it on Roppy between the games, because, uh... He's got some pretty sweet cosplay going on. Yeah. Ooh, I like the uh, idea to oh. go air to air, just misspaced a little bit. All right, you guys, we're gonna get the names switched around. There we go. So Ryan's goes playing that Guile, as we said, and, and Robbie's probably just trying to feel out his opponent a bit right now. Sure. The, the double tech from from uh, Robbie Botop. I uh, screws up the combo though. Here's a full punch from Guile. He just goes for the flash kick. I kind of like that. Yeah. Not having to worry about what time nice that Robbie's gonna land. He just kind of, you know, got the punish, you know, got some damage. Sure. I like the spacing there from um, Ryan's Ghost, but then he kind of overcommits there with the fireball. And it's gonna, you know, cost him some damage and no position. punish on the sweep. But the biggest change I see so far in this matchup here from uh, Ryan's Ghost is that he's not backing. It seemed like in the, in the last match he was playing, he was just holding back instead of holding down back, if that sure. makes sense. So yeah. he was just walking across the screen. Right. And in this case, he seems to be actually cr uh, down backing and holding his space, which is a much better... Yeah, I, that's like a must with Guile in this yeah, game. Like, you need to hold your space. You have to hold your ground as Guile. It's super important. Because if you get pushed to the corner, like he is now, especially against Ken, dude. Oh, that's... <laughs> Robbie Vota trying to play with these gloves. We'll take a look at him in the um, between games. Yeah. Oh, there's a good DP there. Classic Robbie Vota special. Yeah, nice answer back from Josh with the flash kick. Yeah. Nice yeah, team seeing full screen there with the sonic booms. Nice. Good flash kick again. I like him not committing too much. Just waiting for the jump in there from Robbie. And wow, then nice answer, Jeff. Yeah. Waited out the active frames of the Tatsu because the Tatsu would have beaten that. I don't know if that was intentional, but it looked very impressive. Now, that's thing about Josh, though, he's really good at video games. So, like, like just in, in general, like, he could pick up, you know, a game and be really good at it, just kind of baseline. So, the thing is, like, those kind of, like, instincts I could definitely see coming out of uh, Ryan's Ghost. Sure. Oh, nice confirm from Robbie, though. And so, I'm going to switch to Robbie because I want to see these faces. <laughs> So we have on the left, we have Robbie, uh, Robbie Ghoul, Robbie Ghoulta, I think, or whatever. Yeah. Ghoul Vota. Um, so you see him there in the Ken cosplay, and then on the right we have uh, Ryan's Ghost, aka Sonic Spire, aka Josh, wearing his uh, T Hawk outfit. I really like both these guys' uh, cosplay design. They're really, really pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, we're going to see uh, a little bit different spacing here in the start of this match here. Ryan's Ghost uh, being a lot closer to Robbie. Uh, just overall. Mm. Oh, nice wake up throw. Establishes the corner, but gets caught oh, by the wake the up full, Tatsu. Yep, full crush counter combo, good stuff. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the back here is just crushing that Tatsu. Alright, crush counter. Tries to bait a DP, but Robbie not having it. Yo, the, the neutral, that's that's the Robbie votes on special. Make you feel dumb. Yeah. Good EX Tatsu get in. Full DP. Oh, uh, nice crush counter. He's dead. Yeah, big damage. 
Uh, uh. Get, yeah, baits the throw again. Yep. That throw bait has happened so many times, and uh, it seems like uh, Ryan's Ghost has no intention on stop uh, to stop uh, getting hit by it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, just a habit that Josh hasn't broken from Street Fighter 4 yet. Cause, late tech. Yeah, he was a very, very big fan of late tech, and in this game, crouch teching isn't a thing, so you just get throw tech, and so when you get neutral jump, your throw comes out and it gets punished. And the thing is also, actually, early tech is better in this game than late tech, too, because um, neutral jumps don't affect early techs, but neutral jumps like that affect late techs. Right. Nice stop. Drop the crush counter combo, but finds another hard knockdown. That's it. Oh, no stun. No stun. Never mind. Oh, that was always sick. The dash forward. Yeah, and that's Crouch fierce. Set. Nope, still jump fierce, and we'll secure the game. I'll be up. All right, so we're going to have a 2-0 there. Ryan's Ghost losing there to Robbie Ghoul Vota. There's a fight on screen, almost. Valskaria versus Haunted Potato Salad. And also, that's like the worst handle ever. Yeah. exactly a game. Where where is that? Wait, it's been Arcee, Arcee Diet and Dat. If you guys want to play off stream, actually go and call that match for stream. Uh, Arcee Y and Dat on stream, please. Because this house not even. Uh, how did Despair and Spooky bleed? No mind. They're still playing. Can I get uh, Ryan's Ghost versus Tick Coach Die YC. Oh, thanks, Jack. Yeah. That is awesome. It is so hard to do oh. combos with this game. <laughs> okay, me and Watson play. Okay. No! You and Watson play? Yeah. That's the one for people leave. Yeah. They're downstairs. Yeah. Over here, do commentary with me on RTY. If you want, and you don't have to. Prepare to do commentary. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out. Top in the shop. Hope you enjoyed all those drop tire combos. These uh, these these gloves that came with this costume uh, are really really blowing me up right now. But anyways, joining me on commentary when he gets that he sweet sweet headset on, Mr. RTY RT die tonight. O M. Ominous gaming. I always wanted to call it onslaught gaming. Onslaught. That's that would be O N. Right. But I just like. That sounds like more of a word, ominous. Yeah. Ominous. I actually couldn't pronounce it for like the first... Ominous. <laughs> for like the first seven weeks. Ominum-num. I was like, yeah, man, I, uh, I play Street Fighter for ominous. Om ominous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have uh, uh, Watson Chan uh, the Ghost, I think. Yes, the Ghost. I don't even know if that name's going to fit on there. And Fire Scream. So... Uh, Fire Team has been really working hard on his Chun Li the last couple of weeks. Uh, this is the first time I think we'll see an official tournament uh, display of it. He played it against me a couple of weeks ago, but that wasn't. I think that was just testing the waters. So um, one thing that Fire Team has really done well when playing Chun Li is, is just he's got he's got the good button spacing, and I think kind of. Uh, the same way that we talked about earlier about Chad picking him the collar, where he's probably like, wow, I don't try nearly as hard to get a win. I feel like maybe Fireteam might be feeling a little of that with Chun-Li just because of improved normals, uh, better walk speed, all that stuff. Right, which, I mean, if you're play if you're switching to Chun this late in the game, it's because you want something better than what you already have. Right. So, and Chun's probably the best to pick. Oh yeah, absolutely. Wow, no, nice back dash, no punish though. Yeah, you're gonna you're, you're gonna see little nuances like that of the match, just because you know this is not Fire Team's main character by any stretch of the imagination. So um, it's really gonna be on uh, Watson Chan to just he needs to simplify his game plan down. You know, especially he's got this insider information. It's not like you're playing a random at Evo where you just assume, yep, this guy's a Chun player. He's gonna know how to punish everything. Right. Uh, you just you need to play. You're gonna kind of simplify your game. Now this Fire Team, not up by a whole lot. But the thing is, the difference between him and Kong is you're not seeing these one-touch max damage combo options. Yeah. So you're going to have more time to breathe. The fire team, or excuse me, uh, Scream. Fire Scream doing an excellent job <laughs> at using the space. He's going to find a stun here. Uh, full bleed once you all. You know, uh, Fire Scream, uh, what, what you can say he's uh, relatively close to Kong is he is uh, definitely walking forward and pressuring really well. Yeah. Um, which is something that, you know, Kong's... No, noted for because he makes Chun look like a not a charge character, and uh, Fire Team's doing a really good job of.
kind of putting that into his own game. If you watch him play Ryu, you notice that he has a lot of, you know, Nash movement with his Ryu. Right, and, and it, it, I played Fire Team's uh, Chun Li online the other night, and it's hard not to go into the match expecting to play against Kong, right? Right. Um, so there's there's little things where you have to, and that's part of just adapting to your opponent mid match is finding out what they're really they're capable of. So what I'd like to see is is. Uh, Watson try to check some of that forward movement by Fire Team because he's really making use of that excellent dash. No meter to follow up. Goes for the throw anyways. Yeah, the space nice in. jump in. You Watson know, did. I feel like something that's not uh, interpret or like used against Chun Li is light buttons. And I feel like light buttons do really well, especially against the Chun Li who likes to walk forward a lot. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know, and I'd like to see Watson try to implement that a little bit more. E even just checking with a stand light kick. Yeah. Uh, oh man, damage. Uh, even just checking with a stand light kick on the way in. And the thing is about like you know what, what, the way that Kong would. One of the ways he would adapt to a player using the stand light button to try to check your forward movement is instead of walking forward, he will do back fierce. Yeah, yeah. And you, you crush countered, and then you want to kill yourself. Cause you're yeah. like, Why? Because I mean, like the light buttons will only work for so long. Nice uh, fireball game right now. But see, this is where you need to get that damage. You're gonna put pressure on the Chun Li player to like. He needs yeah. to like walk in, and that that's wow, more mental nice. damage. That's you know, he's very wow, three, three in a row. row. That's gonna say you know, super consecutive. Uh, you know, on point with that. Yeah, he needs to hold. He needs to be careful. Chun Li does have super stock. No oh, DP. Oh no, DP. I I want to say that crouch me and punch with DP. Yeah, it de definitely is. I think you're at the point. Oh, nice compare. At the point where like you see somebody with a crouch medium button like that, even if it does anti air, and I do it all the time, it's it's always meant to be DP. <laughs> yeah. And man, that, that first, that whiff DP that Watson did in the last round really set a precedence. You're not seeing him do any sort of reversal. Nice big game. Jump in. Super right here. Yeah, that's going to be the game. So, Fire Scream with the easy, uh, you know, 45 hit combo. Yeah, man. So, now we're going to now we're gonna get RTY and DAP. R RTY and DAP on stream, please. RT die. RT die. RT die. All right, so you come back on commentary. You're gonna get fire team. I want to talk to him a little okay, bit about I just, how he feels about that. I just want to say I didn't drop the crouch, this crouch jab, stay medium punch, crouch medium kick, and casual. I dropped it probably like four to five times out of like 40 executions, and I literally never hit it in that set. So I just want to I just want to throw that out there that it, it, it's that's not that's not normal. I just suck. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you, made it, you made it work, man. How do you how how do you feel about this? So we, we've seen we've seen uh, uh, Chad using the Kali coming from a lower pick, and now we're seeing Fire Team using Chun Li. I mean, the reason why Li. I'm the reason why I'm picking Chun Li is really obvious, though. She's just the best character in the game. I don't know. <laughs> like it's it's you know it's literally that simple. And the thing is, like, I'm doing it because like you know I want to understand her better. And like the way I understand the game is by under by understanding multiple characters and seeing what their game plans are. Because I've learned a lot about the game by playing Chun Li. Like just how she functions. I don't have the Halloween costume for camera. I am disappointed. Uh, I bought it last night. Is it not on there? Oh, I, I bought the ca I bought the ca it's you. You can even look at my email from PSN and it says. <laughs> yeah, but hold on. This motherfucker comes to my tournament <laughs> once every, <laughs> every nine set, months yeah. and demands a costume. Uh uh. No, I'm glad Das able to make it out. Um. <laughs> God, what, what was this? Uh, unlimited, name? unlimited, uh, like chicken and waffles. Curse uh, of unlimited chicken and waffles. Uh, the curse of the never ending chicken. Oh, waffles. never ending. Excuse me. The curse of. Ch I'm gonna shorten it down. Chicken waffles. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna just short shorten it down. All right. So, anyways, we're going straight into it right now. So, Cammy, <laughs> uh, I, I've been playing Cammy a little bit recently. Really like the range of her normals, and that's really where she needs to dominate this matchup. Glass cannon, though. I think on a crush counter super, Nikali can take away like, yeah, like 60 percent of her health. And also, wow, I nice like the uh, anti air there from Dap. Yeah. The, the back medium punch really sick. Oh, damage! Extra damage opportunity in there. All right, and the, uh, excuse me. RT die finding a DP of his own. Trigger activates. This is where the view reverse is really important. We're gonna use it on trigger instead. That's uh -huh. safe. Mix up. Oh, the yeah. shimmy. Okay. Already, yeah. already got paid once for a shimmy, by the way. Got the yeah. Pairs. And the thing is also now he still has that dive kick, but he's gonna die for it. As we yeah. talked about, glass cannon is definitely the way to put it. He was leading most of that game, and then all of a sudden at the end, he got hit by like two hits, and then he's yeah. dead. Uh, that's man. That uh, could not be. She is the tied for the lowest health in the game, and I think has the guaranteed lowest stun. In yeah, nine hundred. I'm not sure what their stun is. To be honest. 
Reset, stay in front. Mm, wow, the shimmy. shimmy again. And I think Cammy has one of the most effective com combined. Oh, wow. When he gets him to do super, he's dead. Not like actually dead, but I like... I see target combo. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yep, yeah. there we go. Full damage. He's going to get He's gonna get the crouching punch into nerd rage. Gets him out of the corner. <laughs> wow, really? He's really bl he's blowing up the crouch medium punch. I'd like to see the adjustment here from Dap to yes. start going for the DP. Because uh, RT Dive been, has been utilizing against me and a lot of other players, including Dap in this set, the dive kick to get through that normal anti-air. So I'd like to see him uh, oh. go for the DP as a will blow up the dive kick for free. Yes, That's absolutely. kind of and the she, point. She has one of the best d DPs in the game, like bar none. And Vince, as far as oh, invincibility goes, uh, her trajectory went on her way up. It's just one of the best anti. Oh yeah, and also does a ton of damage. Yeah. It's really, it's really, it's just good. You know, like, there's no reason not to use it ever. All right, so there's there's a dive kicking one on one. You hit anywhere above the neck, you are probably going to be negative on the way down. And RTY taking full advantage of that finds a dive kick on the way in, going to get some big damage, which cuts it short. Yeah, it's going to be safe. Now nice Cammy getting traps. Yeah, those frame traps are sweet. The stamina punch there. DP finally coming out there from Dap. Doesn't use it a whole lot. Which that's for sure. Minus two on spin knuckle, but it's pretty much still Cammy's turn afterwards. I don't think it's is it minus two? I, I think it's it plus. I think it's plus. I thought it was plus two. Okay. The thing is, uh, you can count on the way in very easily. Sure. Un unlike Street Fighter Four, which is almost impossible to count on the way in. But I never saw it either. It was one of the she her hooligan combos in Street Fighter Four and the spin knuckle were largely unused because you're too busy putting people into an unblockable vortex. Oh no! Oh, he's super got confirmed. Yeah. He, oh, that's your might kill. No, he's no. not okay. He has V trigger available. Wow, he tries to go for the whip punish. Alright, very tense right now. 35 seconds to play. The thing is though, both characters have oh, there's the overhead. Mm. The RTY classic also off stream. We did have uh Ryan's ghost win oh, over his quit. opponent. Not quite sure uh, who that was. Uh Coach Dick. Okay. He didn't tell me the score, but I'm gonna make a rule where if you don't tell the score, oh, it's gonna be two one always. That's what? fair. You know? Oh shit, we're right back into it. Yeah, dude. So All we're right. gonna so we're gonna see uh, RT die coming in there. He's gonna get a lot of damage there onto uh, chicken waffles, not too much. In comparison to what it could have for the sure. The thing is, is like even though we can't use so you have low health, you have to block, right? Well yeah. great damage still is gonna scale up, so it makes any jab that much more impactful. Nice and meaty on the way in. Both players have done a very good job of mixing up their wake up DP opportunities. So uh, I feel like Rayshon might be almost at the at the limit where he might do nice interrupt on that string. It's so uh, that's difficult to do. Yeah. It's, oh, there we go. So we're gonna see. Yeah, he has V trigger for this. So let's yeah. see what he utilizes for it. Yep. EXDP. Wow. Yep. Damage. Nice meaty on the on the uh, four. Uh, the, basically the cam cam solar plexus. Yeah. No nope. Rayshon special right there. Yeah. The, the V trigger cancel into DP. Another wow. DP. Okay. So if I'm Rayshon right now, you got short memory. Yeah. Lose that. Scramble yep. situation. Yep. Don't think about it too much. Stick to your game plan. Yeah. So John, John, uh, John, son, saying that spin up was plus two. I thought it was plus two. It was plus four in Street Fighter Four. I know nothing is like plus four in this game. Yeah. Rarely. Nash's crotch pierce is like one of the dumbest normals in the game. That's plus, and it's plus three. Ex DP B trigger is like plus twenty six with game. Or what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Yep. Full nice damage. And here comes a full crush counter. Uh, yeah, you can go for the dash. It's, mm. it's, it's a little harder. You can go for the dash and the jab. Or you can do walk forward and a stand medium punch. Wow, okay. that's Oh, tricky. he drops the confirm again. Wow, Dap is on point with these hit confirms right now. I'm very impressed. Okay, just go for the back throw. Or that. Okay. Well, that, yeah, that's the end of the round, but I agree. Yeah. Back throw is the most meter building thing you can do in this game, unless you have like a command grab or something. The worst other thing would have happened, right? Back throw leaves him with a slip. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then and then Nikali gets like stand fierce super oh, and then just came. And then she's just literally dead. Deleted off the. She's just literally screen. dead. I'm really sad I didn't have the Halloween costume. I bought it last night. Wow, excellent with punishing like on the uh, roundhouse. And again, you know, classically, Cammy's got that. She has a low forward. That makes you think the wrong things. Like it, it is a Street Fighter Four button through and through. Like oh no, couldn't punish. Didn't get the crash. Actually, your low forward isn't that crazy. You know what is crazy? What's well, the range on it though? Oh yeah, the stand fierce man. Oh yeah, that is that is that is better than her Street Fighter Four button actually. It, it's like it's like Makoto stand medium punch. Oh yeah, but a fierce button. Mm -hmm. Nice job on Rayshon recognizing. Nope. I know you like to DP. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. he probably tried to interrupt it and yeah. uh, didn't quite get it. All right. Understandable. But hey, that one DP though that Rayshawn managed to put the brakes on it. I mean that kind of made it break the round and 
Yeah, nice DP right that there. That was a good anti-air, yeah, yeah good, absolutely. Good stuff there right, from RT Die. Really, really uh, getting that anti-air in early. Gets damage as well as stops her from going in and made her waste a bar. Like, there's so many things yes. that happen in that one situation that... And very much Nikali's favor. Yeah, so many things that really made this round go well for RT Die from one move. Okay, here we go. I think you can get a stand medium punch on the reset too. I mean, if you're gonna like get, if you're gonna commit to staying in front, you might as well get the most damage you can. Okay, here we go. Dunk, follow up. Yep, good dunk in the follow up, and then so now we're gonna see him with a quite a big life lead. Here goes, he goes for the back nice. this time. Cross under, he has V trigger to cancel uh, his next combo for big damage. Yeah, I was looking at stun almost right there too. That's oh no, hesitation on the anti air. Ray Sean in the corner. That's that gonna hit. Yep. Uh, uh. Yep. 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 This cami. Looking it, good. Yeah, Daps Cami is looking clean. Yes. Clean, clean, clean. That is for in sure. In the words of K Brad, clean, clean, clean. Or in the words of Kong, simple and clean. He doesn't have the mic on right now, but he can feel the Utada coming through. Mm, mm. Uh, man, the reset across again. Thing is, is like I know that I, I feel like Ray Sean is definitely trying to DP those dive kicks, and he's just missing the input a little bit. Yeah, the thing is, they're so fast, and, like, yeah. especially with the you know six and a half frame delay or whatever. It makes it hard. Excellent link right there. He's really trying to bait out the DP from uh, Ray Sean. Ray Sean not biting. Has the corner, gets a DP of his own. Big damage incoming. Straight into super. It's gonna put her at about. 10% And also probably? he has B trigger still available. So oh he can so God, he can kill right. in the next combo guaranteed as long as uh just not like a cross beam punch. Oh. Start. Okay, definitely. She's dead. Mm. He literally got up. <laughs> oh dang dude, you talk about clean play and then that <laughs> and then and then just DP. Rayshawn's like, oh I'm taking those though, because all it was was one whiff punish away. Stand fierce, trigger, damage was gonna it was incoming. Yep. That was that was, was a, that was a close game though. That was sweet. Yeah, it was, I like that. I like I like seeing uh, like seeing the the active cami. I mean, I need to update this. Who I'm oh. a total bum right now. RT die takes it over. Uh, Curse of the Never Eating Waffles two one. So we just got to get. So we're gonna get this out. Valskaria versus you. You're up. Hold on one second, <laughs> guys. I'm gonna mute the mic to call these. It's hard to take the headset off with the with the wig. One second. So we're going to have uh, Valskaria. Yeah. It never fails, dude. <laughs> Every time we call matches out, people always go, I'll play who you said I played, right? And you're just yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. You got it. At Max Out, we have this like third monitor right here, and it points outward. So the thing is, they always come up, they're like, and then I'm just like, I have a third monitor. I just don't have the oh, no, necessary. I mean, oh, for, uh, for a weekly? No, no. That's way too. You already do enough. Well, I'm, I, I'm just saying. I have one more bit of tech. I'm on. I'm, I'm. I'm on the fringe of breaking out. I do have a giant projector screen. Oh, okay. And I might put it right yeah. there. You know, I don't know. We'll see. That'd be sweet. So I don't know if you guys can. No, nah, she's just off camera. But on the on the right hand side of Valteria or left hand side of Valteria, uh, his girlfriend's actually in full cami costume. Today. Yeah, she yeah. did a great job on her costume. Yeah, it looks too. it looks sweet. It looks yeah, it sweet. looks great. Yeah. So we're gonna have potato salad versus Valskaria. Haunted potato salad salad is like the dumbest, <laughs> spooky. Uh, tag I've ever heard, honestly, but uh, it's gonna be Vega versus Laura. I'm not sure how this matchup goes. The thing is that I, I noticed with playing Nash against Vega is they can walk out and just kind of get yes. out of your pressure, just kind of for free. Yes. Uh, Laura is kind of the same where her normals are kind of stubby. Mm -hmm. Like like they're good. Like some Laura normals, like especially like Crash Me Kick, are actually pretty good. Uh, some of them, again, don't right. me wrong. But uh, right. like and he can just walk out of it regardless. And that's, I feel like that could be a kind of similar tale here for Valskaria, where you could just walk out of Hana Potato Salad. Say like there. Uh, he barely was in that range for that command grab. Barely. The, the 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 thing is though is that potato salad being arguably the more experienced tournament player. What we're seeing right now is where is Vega? He's in the corner. Yep. So well, Juarez, I completely agree with you. Walking back is very good with Vega. It's very good. Uh, he's dead. It puts you in a corner, and now you're in a reset and a perfect KO. Yep. And the thing is, uh, as you said, like he just simply did nothing that round though. Like you yep. have to first make them respect. Options that makes them uh, play safer, like for example, jumping out of pressure, and then uh, you know matching normal. So then they have to make their you know the block strings tighter. I was just gonna say I don't want to see Valteria. Like you can kind of see the question mark come over his head, and he's like, I need to sweep right here to close the gap. 
when you do have a better alternative, and that's just stand medium punch. Claw on stand medium punch is very good. You can't kill. Active, gonna get a reset opportunity. No, just go for damage. Yeah, he couldn't kill. Trying to go for that double P. Yeah, might still see it. Ah, there it is. That's death anyway, though. Oh, he screws up the punish. Uh, Doesn't matter, though. Tick, command, grabu. So, anyways, uh, I'm not sure whose stick that is. To What's be honest, that? you can use mine, though. Uh, it's Valtteri. I think it's RTY's. Wise. Uh, what I want to see from Valtteri here, it was that was a little bit of a, of a beating up. Yeah, the thing is, like again, like he seemed like he's not doing anything. Like you have to, you have to play active against Loris sometimes. Like yeah, they talked about earlier, like walking back is good, but that's after like we've already, you've already established the game, right? Like right now, there's nothing established from scary. He's just dying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's just losing the game. It's uh, there's just holes in the defense, but anyway. He needs to be comfortable at the one square range, man. Like I, I, just, I don't know, if he's playing. If he's playing a little nervous right now or what? But uh, wow, I, I, I want to see Valtteri just <laughs> calm down, take a deep breath, and he. I, I think him backdashing some wake ups would be another option that will yeah. help him get out. So if there's that stand medium punch I talked about. If that hits, you can put it right back in there, and it'll counter hit. It's, it's got, it's got, it's a built-in frame trap. Reminds me a lot of Yun Crouch Medium. Yeah, punch. it's really brainless, but it's really and really good at the same time. But see, Vega needs it though. Oh like, no, I mean yeah. I'm not saying anything like you Vega's Yun. Right. I mean don't yeah. me wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying it's very much a Ken. It's just kind of brainless. Right. You just kind of do it. It counter hits, confirms into itself. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's just as you said, like you're very much a Yun. It, it's it's an active poke that comes up all Vega. Nice defense right now. Valtteri trying to find a way out. Is he going to get it? Stun building. One more mix-up will probably grab. knock it in. Oh, no. Still pressure. I see, like, I like that. See, like, he's using normals now in the middle of uh, block strings. So, like, that's the kind of thing you have to do. You have to, you have to uh, you know, challenge the block strings of your opponent. Always they're just going to eat you alive. Oh, the bots are the, uh, the oh, that's, 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 that's not, that's not going to kill anything. He, he is, a, he is uh, not super mm -hmm. nice. That's it. So, I know there was a lot going on in that match, but... I think what needs to happen is there might there might have been a little bit of a question mark on uh, matchup experience there with Valteria, but uh, in that kind of a situation, you really need to explore all of your defense options. We talked about how walk back was really good. Uh, however, if your opponent is covering that up, you need to find something out. And we saw probably like I think three or four meaty command grabs on Valteria's wake up. So backdashing fixes that. Um, Neutral jumping can fix that. Those are the kind of things you need to try to incorporate once you realize the goal of what your opponent is trying to do. That's when you need to make the adjustment and say, all right, well, if he's going to command, you know, even if you neutral jump and he gets elbow or anti air or whatever, that's fine. He's just one step ahead, but you need to still explore all those options, not get. Not 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 make not get beat up so hard, but anyways, Valteria, uh, probably one of the my favorite players in the scene right now for his ability to bounce back from losses, uh, not only continuing to compete but continuing to learn and adjust. So right now we've got a pretty much a grand finals classic right here with Fire Team and RTY. Tennis out trying the bracket. You uh, are playing me next. All right, so we've got, uh, let's see, Fire Scream. Wow, it didn't, it didn't download my the Nash costume either. That's really lame, Capcom. You, you're screwing up my entire event. I expect to hear an uh, uh, apology from you. I bought the Cami costume and I bought the uh, Frankenstein Nash costume and they're not showing up. Sad, eternal sadness. RTY? Fire team had incredibly close matches last week. Came to a timeout with both players slamming on that super. Fire team not screwing around with Chun Li, going straight into Nash. Nice stops the scythe mid uh, mid animation. RTY in the driver's seat right now. Gets a jump in. Pressure's continuing. Throws teched. Trying to jump out. Man, there was a normal right before that. I think uh, that was I think that was stand medium punch by Nicole. Probably going to be a DP. Still has the corner. Ray Sean with the dunk earned. Oh wow, no reset. Neutral jump. Fire team has trigger on deck. Gonna trade spaces here. Trying to just get those those uh, stray sides. It's free damage for Nash. Trigger on deck for Nikali. Gonna make it safe. Frame traps in effect. Nikali challenging with the button. Gonna find super. Round one. Gonna go to fire team. Yeah, if I can, uh, Ray Sean right there was like, "You have super already? You did like four moves to me right there." And it, yeah, it didn't, it didn't really seem like either player had a whole lot going right there. And then, sure enough, 
Here comes Nash. So RTY starting out, very dominant play again. Finds a jump in, excellent cross up. Lose the corner situation, but gonna pick it up anyways on the other side. Nice meaty fire team gonna try to alleviate some of that pressure. Trying to catch a forward walk with that scythe. Nice defense so far. Fire, uh, Nick, uh, so far, I mean, Rayshon's been rewarded with a lot with the jump in. So we saw another one right there opting for the dive kick off that time to try to blow up the natural anti-airs. Nikali sitting on a full bar of meter as well. Still going for that, trying to blow up that crouch medium punch we see from, Nika uh, from uh, Nash. Excuse me. Corner pressure right now. Fire team, huge life deficit. Finds an anti-air. Burns to get out. No anti-air right there. Probably looking for, yeah, maybe looking for EX side. Trying to find straight hits. I really like Ray Sean holding back. This is what Ray won in the match last week is his incredible defense. Let's see how it holds up. Jumps out. Fire team still on the warpath. 40 seconds to play. Still looking for a way to find in. Gonna get a confirm a super right here. No, he doesn't. The scramble situation. And fire team hopping up in the seat a little bit. A little bit uh, under stress right there from both players. A big drop right there. That's unfortunate. Both players now sitting on full bar of super. Any stray scythe hit can go straight into super for young Chris Becker trying to use that sonic boom to cover the forward movement. Nikali stalking back and forth. I really like uh, the, the patience right now by RTY. Back to neutral. Finds a jump in. Not in time. Confirm. Fire team not hopping for super. Gonna hold on to it. Meaty's on deck. Wow, big uh, with punish opportunity. Rayshon gonna get a little bit of damage on it. Still looking for a jump in. Fire team gonna get one of his own. He's gonna go straight into super here. It's gonna put Nikali at about 15%. Not enough to kill. Going to need one more mix-up. 20%. Goes for the meaty. It's really challenging the DP. I like that fire team's decision-making right there. It's like, you know, I can take a DP right here. It's not that big of a deal. Fire team in the keep-away game movement can be very frustrating. Look at Rayshon just being very patient. Stalking back and forth. He's got to find a way in. A stray sonic boom can be super through, though. Got to be aware of that. Is he going to find a way to activate the V-Trigger? Oh wow, risky jump in, man. You can definitely tell the nerves of these players are both on tilt right now. Fireteam trying to fake movement. Finds it. Okay, what's Rayshon got? Unfortunate. So, Fireteam with a little bit of a delayed jump back. But manages to find damage anyways. Uh, I, I, hey man, very even play between both these guys. Very much came down to that last... Clutch scenario, right back into it. Fire team up one game. Like I said, uh, Rayshon's defense won him the game last week. Defense and patience. Fire team's taking meter on the way out. Meaty follow up, excellent throw guard. Finds a crush counter. Meaty throw, no reset. Oh no, late cancels everywhere. Whoa, I thought that was going to be nice. That's more mental damage than red damage. Yes, it is an EX anti-air, but it's not that much in the grand scheme of things. Nikali got that dash game turned on, though. Rayshon, very good at spacing it. Runs right into a uh, attack. Uh, fire team finds a big meaty in a tragedy assault. He's going to win the round and take a little bit of meter for his trouble. Joining me now in commentary, Mr. Watson Chan. So, dude. Well, right in the middle of this match. This, this is a great match so far. Oh, nice like him for him. Yeah, um, it's been good defense on both sides. I just I say that a big jump in by fire team to open up the round. Gets back thrown, goes for a safe jump. Nice counter poke. Oh man, Rayshon had to read too. Mm -hmm. It's because of the, it's because of the screen freeze. That's a really it really throws you off. Yeah, I feel like it's better to try to just anti-air it. Like, if you have the read and you think he's gonna... Because if he goes behind you, you just block. Right. Overhead. So, uh, it, it, it was 2-0. It was 2-0 fire team. But Rayshon put up a hell of a fight. Uh, the, the best thing about Rayshon is his, is, his, is his patience. His willingness to hold down back. Did you already play against uh, Chad? Yeah. Sorry, I, I won 2-1. Okay, and then Curse is, is Dap and Full Bleed are playing right now. Yes. Uh, Balscaria. Oh, hold on one second. All right, guys, one second. We're just getting caught up on the bracket here.
All right, guys. So again, thank you so much for watching Top in the Shop Halloween edition tonight. My, uh, coming up next on stream is myself and potato salad. Hey, Josh. Josh. Sonic Spire. All right, so we're gonna have, uh, as he said, we're gonna have, uh, excuse me, as I repeat myself twice, Robbie versus Potato Salad. This is gonna be a good match. Uh, both these players sing about the same place here in the in the scene. Both very solid players. Either of them have a chance of taking top and shop every week, and uh, that's definitely the case for Robbie, uh, as well as uh, Potato Salad. So. Uh, potato salad, of course, is going to probably pick that Laura. I'd be pretty surprised to see other than that. That's why I was saying your name, Josh. Okay. So we're going to have... Uh... All right. Joining me on commentary is Mr. Sonic Spire, a.k.a. What is your name today? Ryan's Ghost. Oh, yeah, Ryan's Ghost. Yeah, good name. It really is, though. Oh sweet, they're both in orange. <laughs> right as he changes colors. Oh, no, going for it. I haven't seen him play before. I don't know how this feels. I think usually Potato Salad takes it. Yeah. But I think it's because uh, Robbie's not as familiar with the matchup as he could be. Uh, but I, I definitely see uh, Robbie definitely be able to take it any day. Maybe Robbie even took the last one. Like that's that's how close these guys are. I definitely could see Robbie doing very well. Very but solid pressure coming in here. Tate Salad. What I love about him today, he's playing a lot dirtier. He's playing much much dirtier than he was previously. A lot more yep. command grabs early in his strings, early in the early in the round, early in the set. Good counter pressure there from Robbie though, coming back at it. Yeah, and they're both even now. Oh wow, that EXS is gonna make him fly over, and that's gonna be pretty bad news there. Honestly, good DP, honestly, oh, yeah. but just not working out. Here comes four fierces in a row. Oh, into the reset. See what I mean? And Instant command grab. Oh wow, just ran right yeah. into it. Trying to pop that V trigger, of course, uh, as soon as possible. Try to get you know, try to get advantage out of it, but uh, 100% out knowing that goes for the uh, full screen clap. Robbie V now trying to bait. Good jump in there. Use the Ixatsu to get maximum corner carry. Uh, misses the throw. No DP. It's a little hard to do DP when you have to walk back that late. Yeah. Uh, it's that, a good jump arc from Potato Salad there. Yeah, it really was. And see, the thing is that stay mean can cancel the run, or whatever you want to call it, dash. Yeah. We still dash. It's, it's, it is punishable. If not punishable, it is at least, like, it's usually very hard to punish because it's, you know, so instant, but at least you can get pressure out of it. Another DP bait being successful there from, from uh, Potato Salad. Yeah, he's always plays real patient and just loves to bait those DPs out. Yeah. The thing is about Robbie, too, is that he almost never gets called out as DPs uh, correctly. Well, that barely hit. Now they're going to secure the game barely, or the round, excuse me, barely, as uh, Laura does, or th that super just does no damage, honestly. <laughs> yep. Alright, so, wouldn't surprise me if Potato Solid started playing a little bit more cautious here. Um, kind of fall back into old habits, but... I want to see him, yeah, I want to see him get back in there, get dirty. That's how it won the first round. Oh, there it great is. Great pressure here, yeah. yeah. Good command grab. Uh, no punish, no good punish. He could get like a low medium kick at least, I think, to punish that. But yeah. And even if he does get jabs, he has some jab confirms like that. Yeah. And so now elbow. Robbie has V trigger and a lot of life to cover. Good DP, that's a good start. Yeah, especially oh. with CA though, here he's dangerous. He's looking for V trigger, like he should. Oh, we got the floaty toss, that sucks. Yep. Never, never want that. All right. On a potato salad. Going up 1-0. Looking fly with his nice haircut. Oh, yeah. Robbie looking good with his, too. <laughs> if you, it's more like a super extension, more so than a haircut. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. He's reached his boiling point. <laughs> I reached my boiling point. <laughs> hey, I've been waiting for you. All right, small break here from Robbie, trying to get his wits about him. 
before jumping back in. All right, we're gonna see how Mateus Salad going back in here, like up 1-0. So uh, Robbie B needs to make sure. Uh, so like, what what made him lose the rounds? Should I say? And I, I mean, to be honest, it's Laura. Uh, you know, Laura just, just, I mean, like, it's like a Buki in Street Fighter 4, right? Like, you know, when she gets in, yeah. you just lose the round. But, like, that's the thing. You have to play effectively uh, to the point where she just, you know, isn't able to get those uh, opportunities. Or when she does get those opportunities, you need to minimize them. And the thing is, like, you know, giving giving him Tatsus like that and giving him crush yeah. counters is just not the way to do it. Yeah, but it's great spacing from Potato Salad. He's making Robbie want to do that Tatsu. Yeah. And it's he's so far away though. It's not even close. But yeah, as, as you said, it, it's it's potato salad that's making him do it. Yeah. Good Tatsu crosses over the other side. That's pretty funky. Command grab. No goes for the fierce instead. Or the dash back there. Oh, wow, that's gonna be big damage. Doesn't go for the run cancel. Here we go. Full confirm. Drops it. Good DP there from Hunter Potato Salad. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage as well as put Robbie V back into the corner. Yeah, I think those gloves are really hurting Robbie here. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Beautiful. Not dead. That's going to be big damage. Didn't have to spend any bar besides the V-Trigger itself. Oh, no DP. Oh, that's going to hurt, honestly. And so now he needs to, now he needs to find that confirm. It's going to be really hard mid-screen as Ken. Ken doesn't really do, like... He gets poked a lot, you know, randomly. The thing is, though, he's doing well. Oh my god, that was so weird looking. That was such a weird interaction. Now they have both both have no bars. Good stuff for Robbie B for getting to this point. Oh my god, oh, good that, Tatsu. Yeah, good that Tatsu. anti just whiffing. Wow, he wins the round. The X Factor from Robbie Votok. It's never, it never ends, dude. Yeah, that you magic can't, pixel. Dude, you just can't. Like, it's not even fair, dude. They built this game for Robbie Botok when it comes to that magic pixel. Like, because he did it in Street Fighter 4 when, when, when you could die by chip damage. And then yeah. now in this game, where you can't die by chip damage, he does it even better. Like, it's... Ah, uh, drops his confirm again. Last game, it would have been so much quicker if he actually hit his confirms. Or last round, excuse me. Uh, good throw there from Deus. I didn't want to commit to a full uh, command grab. There's the jab uh, cancel. Yeah. Those run cancels are dash cancels with Laura. Or Something I actually don't see that much out of potato salad, but yeah, because they're because they're not yeah, safe and they're just tech, they're scientifically intense, yeah. they're not that good. Oh, that's it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh my god, that's that's such a big deal actually. Oh, the oh, overhead yep. from full screen. That overhead distance is wild. That is wild. So we're gonna have uh, potato salad going up. Two. Oh, they're over Robbie Gultop. So we're gonna have a couple matches coming up for you guys soon. We have a couple matches off stream on the way. Uh, Valteria is not. How about Alex and. Uh, no. Alex and Valteria. You're waiting? Play on stream. You can stay in commentary if you want. Okay. What do you want to do? I, I need to stop dropping combos with these fucking gloves, what I need to stop doing. Alright, so we're gonna have uh, a losers match on stream, seeing as they didn't play it. What scrubs, am I right? So we're gonna have uh, Valscaria uh, versus uh, L. Donald Trumpo. Is my waifu. Uh, is my waifu. There we go. I, I don't even want to. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do Donald Trump waifu. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this will be an interesting match. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of Alex recently, his play. It's always been a little wild. I'm gonna put the, put the O. Oh. Oh, Donald Trump O waifu. Okay, so, uh, Bulscaria probably gonna go with the Vega. We're probably gonna see Cami here from, uh, yeah. El Donald Trump O waifu. Uh, very solid. Uh, here from Balteria, uh, you know, from what we've seen. The only thing is, like, when he played against Potato Salad, he didn't really play. He just let Potato Salad walk all over him. And, uh, 
Because like potato salad, he just he just walked in there and just killed him. Like yep. <laughs> he, he was just like round one, fight, round and then one. he just walked at him. Like and, and there's nothing. Yeah. So we need to make sure that Valteria, he needs to have a game plan against that kind of that kind of player. Because uh, Pitta Salad, you know, read the weakness early, and he just cat plays on it. It's almost a quadruple perfect, in all things considered. Yeah, and especially if Alex isn't going to be push punishing those slides, I think he'll stand a very small chance here. That's, I think, probably Valtteria's biggest weakness is how much he loves slides. that slide. Yeah. Uh, he should kill with this great, combo. Great. Yeah. Yep. Great pressure that round, just kind of constantly in there. And next to no counter pressure from Cami. All right, interesting uh, full screen EX DP there from Cami. But DP, yep. It hits, doesn't do any damage though. Wow, EX uh, wall dive on wake up there from Valteria. Fall scary, of course. Good command Good grab. Good command grab. I like to do it again. Okay, or this random slide <laughs> that works. Uh, gets the EX wall dive again. Command grab. Oh, good jump out there from Eldon Trouble Waifu. Gets in some good uh, space. That is not that that hit oh. for some reason. That is <laughs> not punishable. Yeah. That is like minus two. Yep. That's wild. That is wild. Okay, full punish right. was available to him. He can then stand me and punch fear, speed trigger cancel, and done full damage. But he could done another DP. Wow. There, this is this is yeah. a uh, quick rounds there. These are, <laughs> this there is something happening on screen. One player is winning. The other player is losing. Uh, not really much to say about it otherwise. Yeah, it's pretty much more of the story right there. <laughs> uh, there's buttons being pressed by both players. It seems like Vault Scaria is, in fact, coming ahead uh, on these trades. Wow. Uh, Spin oh, yeah. Knuckle coming out. As a, uh, good good uh, DP, I guess. He did a hit, in fact. Good tech there from uh, Valtteria, actually. I like the safe pressure from Valtteri though. That's something I want to compliment though. He does he is uh, the uh, he is playing pretty safe so far, except for the slides, which that's the Valtteri but, special. Yeah, I mean Alex hasn't punished one, so yep. There's the slide again, DP. Yeah, even read it. Good crush counter combo. Oh, he doesn't he? Does, you can dash forward then do it. You can dash forward then get your crush counter. Doesn't have anything to go after it. Sadly, are the knees negative? Knees are negative too. Really? Just like Solar Plexus. The only like double hitting heavy normal in the game that's positive is Fangs. It's plus one. Yeah, the roundhouse I knew was and but, it but felt the, like the same button. But so. it doesn't matter that's plus one because Fang is only has a four frame jab, so against most of the casts it might as well be zero. Yeah, welcome to Bison. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, in uh, reuse is minus two as well. Yeah, Fangs is positive because he shouldn't like if he's ever up close, it's kinda like Sagat where they gave him that crotch that three frame crotch jab. Like that's kind of his go to up close. Like, it's like, okay, you don't really have anything up close, but we got you one thing, you know what I mean? Fong has a lot of plus buttons. Yeah, and that's what's crazy about him, too. Like, like yeah, if he gets the chance to put on pressure, he's pretty decent at it. Yeah, but if he's getting pressured, then, it's just like, oh. Uh, yeah, he's got a whole lot of nothing. There's a slide connecting there from Valskaria. Also, oh my god, another, another slide. Yep. And he just counter hits whatever the freak Al Alex pressed there on Wake Up, and that's going to be the game. I think you're gonna play Volscaria off stream. Off stream. Yeah, it's like 9:30. Off stream, we're gonna get Ryan's Ghost versus Volscaria off All right. stream. On stream, we're gonna get Robbie Gould Oh, They're playing. They're playing. Don't mind. They're playing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, play it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, never mind. We're gonna have uh, Volscaria versus Ryan's Ghost on stream, as uh, Robbie and Dap are playing. I actually like to see that on stream, honestly. Right. Yeah, yeah. I honestly like to see that on stream, just because. Uh, it's uh, one zero Robbie right now. Just because uh, Dap is looking really good. No, Dap's really good, dude. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, last time I saw him, he was not looking. Yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can tell he 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 sat down. He put the work in. I played him online a couple like a few months ago. Yeah. And he was decent. No one I mean, he, He's a good fighting game yeah, player, so he'll just, so he'll always you know be okay. 
but like yeah as you said like he just wasn't what he, i what i figured out and i kind of figured this out during our sets last time is this man loves to shimmy oh yeah so i was just like ah, i'm just gonna stay put and not really well, do too Cammy much gets nothing off a of throw yeah nothing she doesn't get any oki she can't even it's not like nash where she can at least do a meaty unless she's in the corner she can only do a meaty right yeah only yeah. Only, only in the in corner because she, she can neutral only do a meaty throw. yeah like so like in the thing she can't do even another throw so like there's no reason ever to do a throw with cammy like yeah. scientifically you should never do one like they just suck like the only reason why you should ever do them is just to activate your normals you well know? no i mean like his you know it's just more than just the throw it's his dive kick mix ups like oh yeah very good he's very good at uh, you know getting the reads on those man he, he's a depth super solid all right so we're gonna have ball scary they're switched apparently we're gonna do that real quick so we're gonna see guile versus uh vega i actually love to see this match uh as we talked about uh be like last week uh, we used to have those hype matches where we've put two similarly skilled players in the first to ten every month and uh, you know be like, oh dude, like you know, who's gonna win? Like, you know, Valteria or or, uh, or uh, Josh, you know, who's gonna win that? Like right. that's this is this is such an even matchup. Yeah, last last week uh, I think uh, Josh just barely clutched it out, yeah. right? It was it was a very close game though, yeah. and that's the thing. Like I I'd love to see this match is because they're both similarly skilled in the scene and uh, Josh has been playing for a lot longer though than Valskiri to be honest. Yeah, what I think uh, Valskiri needs to do and then this is going to be really hard for him especially considering the way he plays is I think he needs to walk Guile down opposed to the aggressive gameplay that or aggro gameplay that he's so used to doing. Yeah, because he just kind of slides in yeah, and like, jumps in and everything. And you but, just walk in to Guile damage. Oh, that's good. That's a good standing punch. Yeah, nice uh, option from. selection for him, yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, Flash kick though had the nice read worked out for him. He got a big life, uh, did a lot of damage afterwards. <laughs> That's the Volteria special, dude. Yeah, he never thinks it's gonna wit hit. <laughs> he he does slide and it hits and he V triggers and it's just like no. <laughs> oh, I, it's terrible because it's always in the corner. And what it, it's not so much that he's giving up damage, it's the fact that he's keeping himself in the corner yeah. by waste and losing V-Trigger. And losing And the thing is, like, something you have to consider about V-Triggers in this game is, like, what they do, right? Like, right. some characters, like, like Nash and Ryu, like, they do it mainly to get extra damage on a combo. But, like, things about Vegas, it's just it's more damage. Like, it yeah. just adds damage to your combo, like, straight up. It doesn't continue the combo, it's just like, hey, here's your here's your old combo, now it does more damage. Altair should super back? No. Yeah, no super back. That's, that's something he definitely could have done. Of course, it hits on the way up, kind of akin to Street Fighter yeah. 4 Ultra 1. You know, and I'm, I'm sure Guile's super kind of uh, throws it off because it has so much pushback that I'm sure Volteria kind of questioned it a little bit. I uh, doesn't get the flash kick after a good back and light kick, though. That was super meaty. Oh, that was kind of a waste of meter, to be honest. Yeah. And he's going to have no super available, and he could have, you know, he could have threatened, like, any any role, you know, being yeah. in the game. Nice jump now. in. Oh, no, no confirm. Yeah, man, you know, these anti-airs, Volteria, that's something he definitely needs to work on, is anti-airs. I understand it's really hard with Vega. Vega doesn't have nice flash kick. Vega doesn't have too many options for it. Yeah, but they are there. Yeah. Man. Wow, the Street Fighter Four classic, Crab's meaning kick into the overhead cancel. Ryan's Ghost going up 1-0. Uh, but something that you have to definitely keep in mind is I talked about, uh, Josh has been playing a lot longer than Volscaria, uh -huh. just, just uh, in the game, as well as definitely in tournaments. Josh has been playing in tournaments for about a year and a half now. Valskyria, probably about a third of that. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. You know, definitely a lot more tournament experience here from uh, Ryan's Ghost. Exactly. Uh, and that's some good stuff here, though. Playing dirty is Valskyria getting those command grabs, and that's really what we need to see. Uh, mixing up his options, making himself unpredictable. Update on Robbie versus Dap 1-1. One, one. Dap on match point. And it's very close. Yeah, and he gets it with a tick grab. Yeah, All right, back to the game. So it's going to be 2-1. Dap. All right, and we're back to this game though. You know, uh, like I said, Valteria gonna got it. Is gonna kind of struggle a little bit uh, dealing with the sonic balloons as he walk. But he, right as I say that, he does it perfectly. Walks down and gets a nice, uh, well timed oh, jump. Oh snap! There's gonna be big damage. Doesn't yeah. pop the V trigger. Oh, oh my and god! Again, one. he just doesn't he just do the same thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, he drops, drops it, it, but, but he, he gets still grabbed. wins. Yeah. Oh my god! It is so close. <laughs> He can actually, instead of doing flash kick there, you can also do back light kick. The yeah, little, for the reset. The little knee. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it, it sucks there as a reset, because like you don't want to reset, you want to kill, but like, he had such little health anyway, he could just go for the, uh, he could just go for the, uh, you know, just kind of the basic damage. Exactly. And then not really have to worry about it at all. That's really, you know, what it comes down to, because that flash kick, you have to charge for it and everything. Uh, and uh, unlike the back light kick, you know, just kind of do it. Nice command grab there from Volteria. This is where he has to get, uh, no, I you know I would have liked to see him go for another option. I mean, you don't want to give up that space that you worked so hard to earn oh, yeah. for against Oh yeah, going for the command grab, yeah. going for the for a frame trap or a meaty. 
Nice um, confirmed. Yep. Stand Fierce again, not confirming. That is negative on block. I think yeah, it's, it's negative, negative four. four. Yeah, negative four, but it's still going to secure it. So we're going to see... Um, I think myself and Sonic Spire. Yeah, I guess. So Ryan's Ghost taking that 2-0 over Vols. Josh, we got Fierce. It's me and you and winners. Probably opened up Origin. I'm gonna play some Battlefield 4, dude. All right, guys. Coming up next, we've got RT Die and Ryan's Ghost. Man, I'm gonna. Actually, it's it's Omnis RT Die, of course. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, probably uh, the Guile versus Nikali matchup. Unless uh, unless he's gonna. Look mad smaller than the packaging. <laughs> Mad smaller, he says. Uh, so, losers round four here. RT Die versus Ryan's Ghost. Is that the proper branding? The lowercase O and the capital M. Yes. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I'll get. I'll get. I'll get. I'll get. Up, I'll get updated. <laughs> I'll, I'll get on that. I don't think we're gonna hear from a representative of, of Ominous Gaming anytime soon. There we go. I would like both these players to get the hell out of my file sharing, though. <laughs> Trying to share that that sweet sweet Ken Tech with the world, dude. <sighs> so um, as we said, Guile versus uh, probably Nikali. Although to be fair, uh, as we talked about previous weeks, RT die opting to go for Balrog as a scrubbuster, and yeah, that will be the case. It looks like we'll have Balrog. Balrog. I don't I don't like this because it's not. Con I mean, I understand it's a tournament, but these are glorified weekly hookups, right? Yeah. And I would prefer RTY to go. Bar Barog does not have a good matchup against Guile. It's not a counter pick. It's a. I'm just messing around because I don't respect my opponent. Yeah, that's what it is. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna probably do really well. Uh, you know, Barog, of course, with those resets. Once he gets his V trigger, is just insane. Yeah. Uh, Josh needs to understand how to punish uh, those those dash punches. Guile actually has pretty sucky punishes overall. Yeah. Stand jab is really his only normal way to reach that far, and it only can be canceled in the Sonic Boom, which it doesn't even confirm it to. Wow, I love this movement from Josh. Nice mix up too. So watch out for the V trigger. And it just goes for the yeah. EX dash. The thing punish? is, is no. the, 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 the turn punches, uh, you can't turn punch at the same range you can on Shoto's because Gonic, so Guile Sonic Boom has got a wider hitbox. Oh, uh, that's going to be big damage. Yeah, if Josh, can just, if Josh can just keep his composure right here and chill, like, like Balrog has no V-Trigger now, you're fine. You need to just zone. Oh, wow, good stuff. Yeah, zone. There's no reason to push the push the issue here. And when Ray Sean doesn't know or does it has a question mark on his head of like, I'm not really sure what I should do here to get in, it's always gonna be EX dash lower. Yeah. Which is fine, it's minus two. It's it's one of Barog's best get in buttons. And yeah, <laughs> Just going for the cross he always goes again. he always goes for the same cross up after the <laughs> I mean it, it's such a good idea, you're like, Oh they have to block the Sonic Boom. EX? Yes. Oh wow. That EX Sonic Boom? No, I was just right. You caught him on the way in. Wow. And unlike his Street Fighter 4 counterpart, Balrog does not have armor on any of his dash punches except for the uppercut thing he does. Yeah. And that one kind of sucks. This is kind of a... Yeah, it's, 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 it's such a throwaway move. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like the hardest read, read, never to read. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and then a good punish there on that Stan Fierce from Guy, if you guys didn't know at home. It is minus four. Good. That was a punish on the dash punch, at least he's starting to finally get it. The thing is, is like when you see when you see uh, Josh throw out those jabs, he's trying to bait a jump. He's not actually checking for forward movement. He's trying to bait a jump. Yeah, and the thing is also, using guys for jumps, they do, they do the Sonic Cross, as it uh, does not require charge. Oh, that was sick. Right, uh, and then you get, still get a flash kick You afterwards. still get a flash kick afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Uh, punish, good. That's actually a good punish. Doesn't cancel the V-Trigger, though. Yeah, I, I think Sonic Cross would be very good in this point blank range because he's not gonna be able to. He can't turn punch around it. Yeah, you can't turn punch around it. It does, and also it comes out pretty fast. So if Ball, you know, puts out a dash punch or something, and it's active forever. You know, it's just it's literally a little wall that you built for yourself. It's like a good Fang poison trap, actually. Yeah, you know, it's like as if they were actually good. So this range, this one half square range, is really where Guile can utilize a lot of his Sonic Boom to establish the zoning, uh, because Balrog's not gonna be able to react and turn punch around it in time. But that being said, or as I just say, it was a little outside of it. That being said, though, there's oh, no, yeah. there's no, there's no fear of chip, of chip loss. So yeah, you can, you can walk Guile into a corner here. Nice flash kick. Yep, just trying to keep the safe pressure on the dash punches. Wow, meaty. Can't punish that. Finds a stray medium punch anyways. Good, good job not answering there. 
He, uh, you know, he, he just came off that Sonic Boom. A lot of, you know, a lot of people will try to put like a Crouch Fierce there or something. Like, it's just not gonna work. Yeah, and he, they need Josh to stop jumping. He needs to hold the zone. Like, this thing is like, he gives up the zone way too fast. See, like right there, like that's when the Sonic Cross, like you mentioned, is really going to come in handy. Yeah, that's perfect spacing. Yeah, that, that's cross. exactly perfect. where you want to go because it's just far enough away to be appetizing uh, for a jump. Reset. Yeah. Nice oh, block. good block. Yeah, finds a throw for his troubles. He has that's a second it. one. That's it. All right. Wow. So let's see. Sonic so, Spire. Yeah, Ray Sean is shaking his head. He immediately says, "Go to character select." Yeah. Uh, Karma's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I think Macaulay's going to fare out a lot better here. Uh, he, you know, hey, he has the Josh has been utilizing mainly normal anti airs to try to, you know, get Balrog, uh, you know, out of the air. And the thing is, Macaulay, of course, has a natural dive kick to punish, you know, yep. the good old Akuma, Akuma right, dive, the kick. dive kick. Right, the dive kick. Too he doesn't do the Akuma. The, I feel the, like uh, they said, the how do we build a character? What's what's good? What is what makes good characters good? Yeah. And they and they added everything, and they're like, well, we're going to take some of this out later, right? And they go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When we balance it, we'll take some of it out. Yeah. Here we are. Honestly, <laughs> like people always talk about Akuma in Street Fighter, in Street Fighter Five. I feel like honestly, Nikali is the embodiment of Akuma in Street yeah. Fighter Five. Like, cause it's like he has everything. It covers like, also his Akuma's biggest weakness, which was lower health. Yeah. Nikali doesn't suffer from that. He has 950, which is average. Or, oh no, wait, no, I thought he has a thousand. He doesn't even know. I, I thought he had. had I thought he had a thousand. Maybe, maybe. But regardless, because oh, no. like the thing is, if he had a legit fireball and he had a legit good pokes and he had because everything he had, everything about him is like 80 percent good. Like there's nothing about him that's like like wow that's good. But right. like like everything is like 80 percent good. So you're like yeah yeah that's really I, good. You know? I would agree. 80 percent good is a pretty good way to describe Nikali's tool set. Yeah, and that's the, I mean Akuma's was like 92 percent good. Nothing about Akuma was like crazy cool. But like when you put when everything was 92 percent good, you know it, it was you know it was a stunning package. Yeah, honestly, so Josh is. <laughs> The way he's playing right now kind of is a little bit reflective of like kind of conceding to defeat. Like, all right, yeah. no, this is Nikali. This is good, good confirm. Yeah, I want to see him like get confidence off of that. Like, he's using buttons in very weird spots. Like, yes, he's meeting, but he's meeting with, with back roundhouse or whatever that was. Yeah, stand or forward roundhouse. It's like, no, if you're gonna meet first off, you need to commit to the meaty plan. You need to yeah. be something you practice. And Guile and has a good meaty setup too. Oh, it's not the best, but his stamium punch is his go-to meaty, and it confirms on counter hit in the low, low strong or on regular goes the low jab. That's his. That's the standard meaty, and I have not really seen that a whole lot from uh, Josh. He does it every once in a while, and it works out for him most of the time, actually. Yeah. Now when he does do it. Yeah, good, good sweep into V-Trigger, trying to get himself out of the corner. I just feel like, unless you have Sonic Boom loops, you should use your V-Reversal, or V-Trigger for V-Reversal. Yeah. Especially Guile, who doesn't have options outside of EX Flash Kick. And the thing, yeah, good I mean, DP. the thing is, is that yeah, Ray Sean could just sit back, not do anything for the next 50 seconds. Yeah. He could just block Sonic Boom for 50 oh, seconds, and nothing wrong could possibly happen. Am I getting managered over here? A little bit. And so, I, but as you said, I like to see also the thing is, as you talk about um, just how the game works, you need to utilize meaty pressure. And, and Josh's probably biggest weak point now is his we, his meaty pressure. He does not simply apply pressure onto the wake up of his opponent, and it really hurts him. My, my, my thing behind Josh is if it works, he goes good enough, and if I can trick enough people, good enough. When I win, I win, and that's fine. But this thing about Street Fighter V is that every single character in the game has to respect the faucet of the up close game, and like you see him do stuff right there, but none of it is con is convincing enough to tell RTY otherwise. Like, yeah, it's just it, it's not. Now hold the zone. Like he got greedy. He got three throws earlier on. Excellent block on the overhead, but hold the zone here. Don't don't go for cross up. That's gonna kill Correct. him. Yeah, the thing is also that jump light kick has very low hit stun yeah. or block, hit and block stun. So even if he did get it, he only could do jab, jab, flash kick. And if he doesn't get it, you know, he puts himself actually in arguably a pretty bad position. Yeah, I mean, Nikali's very dangerous up close. And Rayshon's not been shy about representing the jab uh, to break up Josh's fake pressure. Hey. Good throws. So he thinks he's playing Zangief now. <laughs> v reversal that. Keep him in the corner. Now hold the zone. Ah, man. Like it's those little decisions to not throw a fireball. Like, cause you gotta understand the psych the psychology of the other player is. I, I need to, to get out of the corner. Yeah. yeah, I need to get out of the corner. 
and the first person to go to neutral is the first person to react. The problem is that Josh doesn't ever go to neutral unless he's very obviously blatantly holding down for flash kick. He's got some corner pressure now, though. Uh, it's a, yeah, see, like those, every time he dashed out of the corner like that, he threw a song through. You need to make sure to you know, kind of mix it up a bit. So next we're going to have uh, Dap. Dap versus... Can I get Dap and RTY on stream, please? Loser semifinals. Dap has, as we've already seen on stream, a very fundamentally sound cami. He gets a little nutty but sometimes with, with the DP. Yeah, you good, dude. Thank you, Piracy. No problem, dude. What's your name, Piracy? Chris. Chris, thank you, Chris. Not even my real life friends call me Chris. <laughs> I know, same, dude. I agree. He gets, I, he gets a little nutty with the DPs, but in, in, like in my set, he what, did wake up DP a lot. I did not. I only punished it fully once, um, but he made a very good adjustment in games two and three to sit back, chill out, and really utilize the things that make Cammy strong, and that is the fact that her, her walk speed is excellent, her buttons are very oppressive, have very strong range, and he's able to, not only that, but he's able to hit confirm and really make those stray hits count. Um, he's got good dive kick spacing too. I don't know, I'm gonna play him in casual after this and I'm going to tear him apart. I'm gonna break Cammy in half, throw her into the garbage, and never look back. But anyway, that's not here, that's not now. Right now we got this pink Cammy and the CPT Nikali. So this is a run back from earlier in the yeah. set. I feel like this tournament is going by a million, hundred billion miles an hour. Yeah, it is. It is, dude. So uh, this, the same kind of thing I was talking about with these guys earlier in the first set. Uh, they had these scramble situation opportunities where they were both, you know, like Rayshawn would get a wake up DP and they would hit. And then Dak would get a deep wake up DP and hit, so very very much back and forth. And he's got very good command. Like I said, like those cross medium kicks right there, they check so much forward movement, and it's something kind of our scene hasn't had to adjust to in so long. Oh, here we go the DP coming out, and then you see the walk forward combo there from from R T U die, and that's perfect perfect combo there. Yeah, what I want to see R T Y now is just say, you know, you have to prove to me that you can get in. Oh, and then you find a way in. Good back throw. And, then, and and when you see RTY getting blown up by those EX dive kicks, that's probably because he's trying to jab anti-air. Yeah, jab anti-air or late on the DP. Right. And it's really hard to not be late, honestly. It is very fast. Wow. Goes for the cross-up. So I think matchup notes at home are you want to realize when the Kami is willing to dive kick, not as to try to blow you up, not to try to do damage, but when are they going to dive kick to get in? Yeah. And the, the reasoning behind that is, like, why would you do a special move if you're not going to get the hit? Well, one of the most powerful things in Street Fighter period, across the board, is being able to alter your jump art. And that's, in Cammy with that uh, dive kick is able to do just that. And, and the thing is, it's unlike any other character in this entire game, besides possibly Chun's, uh, besides Chun with her instant air legs. Yeah, instant air legs, right. Because like, it's so instant and so fast, like it's so hard to react to, and it's, it's and the thing is like, it's unlike, and unlike Can or Chun Li's air legs, Chun Li's air legs, you can just do a crouch jab, and like, as long as you can react to it with a crouch jab, actually you're fine. Right. But like, can means you can't, like it just goes, it just blows right through it, you know what I mean? And so like, most of the time you just have to eat it, I and mean, that's really hard to deal with. And, yeah, and that's, uh, I got crouch counter because I was trying to be reversal and I got the stupid step kick. I just want to kill myself, but anyway, B, B reversal is what you can do. Oh, it doesn't get the combo. Wow, the super would have killed, by yeah, the way. Yeah, super would have killed, straight up. Easily killed. So he's got some of the same tick throw set up, so RTY is going to try to keep uh, catch on to that. Man, RTY, I need him to forget about that drop combo right now. And like right now, he's, he's trying to he's trying to shake off that mental stun guard. Excellent defense in the corner. Good. I like that V trigger cancel. Oh my gosh, the hair is so annoying. <laughs> Banana hair. It, oh. It's like it's like it's like it's like Ken's hair, but like on but, but massive. Yeah, yeah. Good throw. Okay, Rayshon's got the life lead right now. Twenty seconds to play. Cami only with two bars. Probably gonna use that to ex the dive kick in. Fifteen seconds now. Got to walk him to the corner. You got to make sure your spacing works. Nothing to follow through. Excellent throw break. I say, you don't make it obvious. You're gonna run away now. No oh, DP. It. No oh my DP. God. That kills me, man. No DP. Fundamental Street Fighter 101, man. DP anti-air. Unfortunate. Yeah, Rayshawn getting away with murder right there. He is like, oh my god, why did I jump? <laughs> if you look right underneath Rayshawn at that pumpkin, that's what that's what Dap should have done. <laughs> <DP. Right there. laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't flame quite. It has electricity yeah. on it, though. So that was my problem. Same. When I was playing Canyon Casual with you, I kept trying to DP with punches. Yeah, I know. Turns dude, out, I, I saw I saw the dab, and I'm like, turns out, doesn't work that way for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you, you gotta do kicks to do electricity and punches to do fire. <laughs> that's how it works.
<laughs> You're right. I, I like that wake up DP a couple of sequences back by uh, by uh, oh, that's big damage. It's definitely earned. He even got the walk forward enough. Oh no, he didn't. I, I called it too early. He just what? He didn't drop the combo. It just wasn't in range. Mm. Does Cami have a smaller hit? Like you have to alter combos for Cami? Yeah, slightly, you but do? but not too much. But the okay. thing is also like since he was so far away, we needed to stand roundhouse. You have to walk really forward to get the the fierce and the. And the thing is, you can't even recognize if you're too far until you do the crouch medium punch. Right. So like you know, imagine like Evil Reuse X kick combo, but it's like, oh yeah, your X kick was too far away. Like right, it's so right. you know, it's like it's like what? You know what I mean? It's it's so weird. And the, and the, he goes with the spiral arrow. Spiral arrow gets you better meaty, but less damage and stun. And and I think I think that decision making was very good because Rayshon's already done wake up DP twice. Yeah. So your meaty is a little bit more earned. And also he uses really close to stun. Oh, here it is. That's it. I can't blame Rayshon for going for it just because. He won't expect it a third time, right? And that's coming from me. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I can't blame him. I, there's really nothing that Nic uh, Nicali can do outside of Dap Stick turning off right now. Wait a minute! Wow, that's wow, shimmy. I stuttered. And so, I, I really think Tammy has the, probably the best shimmy game in the, oh, the shimmy. She should, because her speed. throw sucks. Yeah. And it's not like Nash's. Like Nash's, I think, gets some of the worst Oki in the game off a of throw because he can't, like, in terms of the mid screen. Okay. Because uh, all he can do is meaty. He can't throw again. He can't apply any pressure. And the thing is, his meaty is ne is negative. So if you block the meaty, you're fine. But Cami, she can't meaty. She can't throw. She can't do anything in the corner. Even in the corner, you're like, okay, bud. Here we go. Here it is. Right? No. She she only can meaty and she cannot throw you. It reminds me of uh, of Vega's like throw in Street Fighter. 4 yeah, like his back throw. Yeah. His back throw is just like you threw him and it's like congrats. And, and then Vega's is like, I need to hop around here instead of just landing and getting a follow up. Yeah, it, it sucks. Like honestly, the, so the shimmy honestly just eat the throw. Like it's not like cut like you know people say like eat the throw and then you're like but I got thrown like 19 times in a row. Don't worry, yeah. it'll never happen with Cami because she physically cannot do it unless she just like runs forward after throwing you. Oh, nice that's a great answer here. That's it. Uh uh. Nice max meter build. Given the situation. And also now he has super bar, and that's gonna be big possible damage here for RTY or for uh, Curse of the Chicken Waffles. Well, I mean RTY not too far out of a super himself. Burns one immediately to get in. Nice defense right now to take throw setups coming. Gonna so find nice a throw here for for uh, that stand light kick meaty by the way. That is real. It's it puts her right at the range where she can still like instantly throw. Yeah. Like it's very very it's strong gross. button. He has super again. He opted to use a bar earlier, but now he got it back, so he probably can get pretty close to killing with a single combo. Wow, that's unfortunate for RTY. He goes for the dive kick because he's like, I know you want to use that back medium punch, and he just walked under instead. Like, good throw. Hate when that happens. Is he gonna get a chance? Yeah, he did. All right. Nice defense by Dap. Finds a way in. Oh. Wow, the shimmy again. The Woo. shimmy again. Shut up. Shut up. You lost one too. Not as bad as you did. But I beat him, though. Or was it too old? <laughs> I mean, you want you want to get personal? Who put up the losers though? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, fire team and potato salad coming on. <laughs> what the hell? Who put them in losers? <laughs> All right. So. Joining me on commentary now, Mr. Coach Dick DYC. The salt is flowing. As I usual. I think, I, yeah, per fucking usual. Yep. Yeah. I was dropping combos. I had to take these gloves off because I was like, I feel like I'm like flabbling around. It's like Fokra playing like, with that baguette. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that video is so fucking good. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> That video like ruined my day because I couldn't like watch it without just like dying laughing. I don't know how he's not a millionaire. He's just he's just playing. I put on our Kappa. Yeah. I totally low key stole all of his points <laughs> with that. All right, so we are in winners finals. Winners finals here: Fire Team and Haunted Potato Salad. All right, so Haunted Potato Salad on side one. Dap still talking behind him. 
Not gonna lie, I kinda got in my head, man. Nintendo's out and that were talking between our side, like, during the game, and yeah. I was just kinda like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. But, yeah, uh, I mean, it's one of those things, like, I know, like, some people, I don't, it do doesn't really bother me because I don't really pay attention to anything. No, it, yeah, no, it, it was perfectly fine. I'm not, yeah. I'm not making an excuse, I was just kind of like, hey, I'm trying to fucking yeah. play this fighting game, trying yeah. to fight right now. <laughs> and we got a fight right now, the Happy Halloween stage in progress. Excellent confirm off that back crush counter. Fire team making Chun Li look like a main from yesteryear. And I know right now, now, Tato Salad having nightmares, a real Halloween nightmare of uh, Kong not being back, but the ghost of Kong. It's true. It's just can't get away from Oh, it. no. One, hey, that, that's the Kansas oh City Classic, God. though, right? <laughs> one Chun Li leaves, <laughs> aka one Kong left, yeah. <laughs> and then Admin Raxing told me the story. Uh, Kong left the scene back in Street Fighter 4. And then Samson came in, <laughs> and it was like, you just can't win. Yeah, and then and then you know Samson's nowhere to be found in Kansas City for Street Fighter yeah. Five, but then Kong comes back. Kong comes back. Yeah, comes back uh, Raxing was telling me that story. I was like, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's kind of weird. That's right. Kong will Kong will leave us again, and then uh, then Samson will randomly fly back into Kansas City and be like, hey guys, I'm back. Hey, by the way, I train nonstop in the Korean scene. <laughs> I've got like, wow, that that uh, neutral fierce. So I'm not, obviously I'm not really familiar with uh, this matchup. Cause you leaving? See you, Rayshon. See you, Rayshon. Bye, dude. Um, well, it's it comes down to, on the on, pa on paper, this matchup is harder in the neutral for, uh, for Laura, just because Chun-Li fights from the same range better. <clears throat> Uh, that being said, though, Potato Salad, one of his great strengths with this character is he makes the Laura Footsie game work. Yeah. And he gets you focused on how is he making Laura work? I shouldn't be taking damage, but I am. Next thing you know, he is dashed up and command thrown you sure. four times in a row. And yeah, like, it's like, gets you thinking about a bro, bro, I tech that, bro. Bro, I tech that. That was my fucking mantra whenever I, we were playing earlier. I was like, man, I tech that. I know I did. The classic, sweet, you know, the classic fighting game. Yeah. Bro, you saw it. I pressed the button. Yeah, you saw You even heard it. And the yeah. guy just goes, oh, no. Sorry, man. All right, so it finds a way in right now. What's the setup here? Uh, fire team, I like the fire team often do nothing on the first knockdown, but almost one knockdown away. Challenging with that crouch jab, that's one of what fire team said, that's what I like about this character having a, a powerful tool in the jab. Taking a page out of Kong's book right there at the walk forward, nice and instant air legs. Keeps the pressure going, has him in the corner, using that stand roundhouse to check, almost close to stun, neutral jump. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. How did I ever lose to anybody here? You know? <laughs> so one thing I noticed, and you mentioned it, how uh, Fireteam chose to do nothing on Wake Up. Yep. Um, I haven't seen him go for, like, a meaty grab yet in this set. And so Fireteam just isn't pressing any buttons when he wakes up. It's, yeah, there was a... A Japanese interview I read where it was like, yeah, I like to let, I don't know which player it was, but they're like, yeah, I'll let the guy wake up the first time to see their player tendencies, mm -hmm. and I get a, I can get a feel immediately of what kind of player this is. Um, and part of that just kind of comes from the fact that Fireteam might not be Big super drop. confident in his wake up options as Chun-Li yet, because I said this is his first real tournament with Chun-Li. He played Chun-Li against me one time yeah. in, a, in, in a winner's final. Excellent Stan Fierce into super. And uh, he's definitely been on the grind though, so I don't feel like he's, I don't feel like he would obviously wow. go real hard into it if he wasn't. Oh, no, this is him embracing the top yeah. tier. No, she's airborne. She's airborne. Yeah. Uh, now, I just want to debunk for a second here the Stand Fear Super Confirm. Chun Li can hit that spacing from the starting point. So, all you do is round one, go, hard punch, and you're buffering super. And if you see it, you just push a <laughs> kick button. I mean, you know, I, I try to try to debunk because a lot of people are like, God, like reactions, counter hit setup. And it's like, Boop. hold on, let me tell you, let me, let me uh, myth bust this really quick. Now, don't get me wrong, Fire Team did a goddamn good job at that. But I'm just saying, like, look, if you did stand fierce right here, uh, outside of Laura moving, if you move forward at all, it's going to be blocked or it's going to be a hit. Yeah. 
crush counter. What the thing that killed me was he got in with the Kong setup and nobody gets hit by Kong setup. Because Kong super you and everybody's like, okay, V skill, we've seen this all before and everybody blocks it. Yeah. And then Potato Salad ate that one. I was kind of like, oh no, what actually happens after this? Because people don't get hit by it when Kong does it because Kong's shown us a hundred million times. Yeah, it's Potato Salad making that neutral work right now. Sp SPK, dash, dash, that's plus two. Nice V reversal out. Yeah, it's one of those things I've seen Chris do it, and what he'll do, especially like if you choose the delay wake up, is he'll just do one, then he'll do one back to the other side because it's still meaty, and it yes. just continues. Did he crouched under a button with <laughs> crouch fierce. <sighs> Anybody else gets hit, by the way. <laughs> like if that's like I don't know, Ken trying to sweep under stand fierce by Chun Li. Yeah. Ken gets hit. That standing hard punch button hits the crouching hard kick. There we like, go. That was that's the first time he's done dash up command grab. Find some damage here. Like that's another part of like Potato Salad's very tricky style is uh, his ability to move in and out of the game. Very very fluid. It's tough though, it's one of those things like if you're trying to hold on to stuff, you gotta you gotta let it go at some point or you're gonna run out of time. Trigger, full combo, Chumley sitting on super, so is Laura. Wow, not gonna get a chance. Yeah. That Constant, constant pressure, and that is going to be a 3-0 for Fire Team. I don't see any player getting up. Am I off a game? I must be off a game. I don't know. Hey. What's that? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, it's three out of five. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, uh, Potato Salad, stay on DAP. Losers finals. All right, so Fire Team showing off the co I really wanted to play against Fire Team this week in bracket, and I could not follow through. Potato Salad put me in the dumpster, and Dap Vip sitting down right now. I hit follow it. through. I hit it towards the end, dude. I finally hit it. I don't care. Your character's cheap, and dude, she <laughs> is cheap, dude. Uh, if, what, why do you think I'm playing her? I don't um, know. Your character's cheap. She's OP. Um, what are some other fighting game buzzwords I can use to try to? Do? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, yeah. Hold on, guys. Potato there Salad has something. Potato Salad has something he wants to say. Hey, Ray, Sean, and or Robbie, when you guys rewatch that, that's a match worth getting salty over. Yo. Oh, see, the thing is, he thinks he's salty, though. He thinks he's salty. I wouldn't want to have to put that Abel in the fucking garbage can in Street Fighter 4. <laughs> I'd walk away, too, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to wear the gloves? You want to wear the gloves? <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, Tato Sal picks the weirdest times to pop off. It's great. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, so we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have uh, freaking Laura versus Cami. Yes. So, so far, uh, in your match, like I said, what? Um, Dick said he's like I'm not really too familiar with this matchup. How does it go? I was like, well, basically, totally destroyed. Even though, even though specifically, Potato Salad's footsies, he makes the footsies with that character work. Yeah, Chun Li does it better, way better. And, and the thing it's, is also like, also he's like he's really good at anti airs. But the thing about Chun Li, she can change her her timing of her jump. Uh, so easily, uh, either by instant air legs or right. jump roundhouse early, which is kind of like a stab. Right. Really destroys normals. And the thing is, he's like, okay, then I'll do a you know normal to beat that. Well, then it's like, okay, then I'll just do jump fierce, and that completely changes the timing yet again. And the thing is, also the three frame jab, especially early in our sets, you saw it counter hit a lot of stuff, and you can counter it, confirm it into low forward into spinning bird kick. So like, it's just you know free damage, free knockdown, free Oki. You know, it's just it's just ridiculous. Honestly. Right. Oh, here's full punch, though. The thing I notice about Dap's playstyle is, is he he definitely he's very good at testing the waters early on with the the I'm gonna like get DP, I'm gonna like get DP again, and you're just like what? And then later on, when you're in like match three, and he's not like a DP anymore, you're like just wake up DP, and then you eat it and you die. Yeah. Nice setup right there, looking for the spin knuckle, finds it, not gonna be enough to kill him. He's one more mix up. Oh, yeah. that meaty stand yeah. light kick, man. That is the so good. The only thing that sucks about her meaty stand light kick is that she can't confirm it in anything. It doesn't, right. el unless on counter. It doesn't, doesn't actually go in anything. So if you're watching at home, with that information the fire team just gave, 
if you see the meaty stand line kick, no you need to be guaranteed. blocking. Yeah, because no, no combo guaranteed. Right. Literally it, impossible. I would say it's akin to most overheads, too, where like even yep. if you eat the overhead, just continue to block. They're not going to get a combo off of it. Yep. Unless they're Street Fighter 4 Buki, and then you're dead. And then you're dead. <laughs> even Street Fighter 5 Buki gets a small combo. Right, right, right. right. But it, it sucks, so who cares? <laughs> not not quite as uh, impactful as uh, her previous counterpart. Yeah, because uh, the previous one, a standing, like for some reason, it hit a standing opponent. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Lord have mercy on you. Oh wow, doesn't he get the confirm, that sucks. He's gonna go for a grab. Oh man, missed the dive kick right there. If you see Kenny's throwing out those uh, stray hits. Ah oh, man, the throw recovery is crazy. Oh, nice there's the overhead. overhead. He's gonna do it again. Yeah. Oh no, he's getting base okay. DP instead. Cracked it's under pressure. Yeah. And depth a Marvel player too, so. <laughs> oh, he's used to dealing with. Well, so is Potato Salad, though. Yeah, they're, they're both, both. They're both Marvel players. Both Marvel players, both akin to getting Helm or, uh, Helm Breaker in the corner by Virgil and yeah. hitting from everywhere. They're they're used to blocking. So like when they're DPing, it's more like a, I guess like a calculated guess. Oh man, that's gonna be stun. It's not gonna be game though. Jump oh. fierce, forward roundhouse, crap defense, DP. Oh no, it is. Oh wow, he just got super in the last hit. Nice. Damage. Curse of the Chicken Waffles up one game. Yeah, so he's going to have to win two more here to take this uh, loser's final set. Yes, sir. And uh, it's going to be Cami going up 1-0 so far. Really good to see, you know, regardless of everything I said, obviously really good to see Cami out here because we haven't really got a lot of experience with Cami oh, in all, a yeah. long, long time. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about, you know, people were talking like, oh, you know, Wraith played oh, Cami, uh, Phil played Cami, but, you know, we haven't seen those two players long com time. compete in a long time. So. since uh, Dap, we saw him a couple months ago back in the scene, like when he lived here. He doesn't, right. He doesn't live here anymore. Did he play Rashid? Uh, no, he, I, he might have. But like he just wasn't as strong of a player. He's a good fighting player. Oh no, player. Nikali. He played Nikali. He maybe. I, I don't. I don't I remember what it was. Nikali. Whatever. Whatever the case may be. He's you know he's a good fighting game player, but he just wasn't good at the game just right. yet. But now like you could definitely see a oh, market yeah. improvement. He's looking super strong with that cami. It's very scary, and I, you know it's definitely some it's a good character to play against as we don't have a cami in our arms. As, yeah, absolutely. I'm not talking like oh the only reason why that beats people because we don't know the matchup. No, no, no. It's one of those we things. We need to learn where, it. Yeah, it's one of those things where you want to get beat up by players like this so that I would I, you know obviously I would rather lose to Dap now than lose to some rando cami when I go out oh, yeah. and play at a major and uh, so it's so good stuff and he's really showing that man he's he's got the got the chops behind the the British special forces agent yeah and he's got he's got the shimmies he's got the full confirms there's a full confirm there off the stand uh, medium punch there's a perfect hand here wow yeah that was such amazing. a deterrent too oh wow the meaty solar plexus needs one more no instant he can he oh Jab. that's it Jump Fierce, forward right now, super. crowd game punch, super. That's Hopefully it. this kills. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, please, no, Captain. No, it does a lot. Yeah, it, it does. She's got a very high damaging super. Dude, can super? <laughs> Like, I saw it raw for the first time. Oh my god, you're talking like 25%. It was like 23%, yeah. yeah. It was just it was just abysmal. I'm like, wow, why do people even use this? <laughs> what is the point of this move? EXDP does more damage, I think. So yeah, at least and it, it puts like Antidote it. stun. And it, yeah, Antidote I mean. stun, yeah. So, I mean, probably even more. All right, so Dap Bip looking to make it 3-0 here. Let's see what adjustments Potato Salad has got. Really trying to check that early on. And again, this is another situation where... I can't stress enough. Potato Salad has really, really good neutral with Mora, a character that's not known for that. But Cammy's crouch medium kick is just objectively better because yeah. you get the whip punish and the cancel. And the cancel and the setup. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So on and so forth. And the thing is, as we talked about earlier, her DP is the one that does less, that does more damage and has a significantly worse setup. But the thing is, you, you cancel into Spiral Arrow from Crouch and Medium Kick. So not only do you get, you know, damage and, and you know, like right here. So he's going to go with that. And, uh, and, uh, he's he's going to go not for the DP. He's going to opt to go for more damage. Right. I, and that's, you know, generally Street Fighter 101 is uh, sacrifice substitute, damage. sacrifice damage for the setup. That's it. Uh, uh, wow. uh, 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 uh. Ding. Right on the dot. Right I would have to say that's probably like maybe one damage overkill, or either just right. Actually, on the dot. It does quite a bit on the on the last. Oh, the last. It does quite a bit. It's not. It's more than Chun Li's. Oh, okay. It's more than Chun Li's. It's like it's uh it's Makoto's uh. Ultra nah, two. yeah, no, it's the, yeah, it's not nowhere near near Makoto. See, that was counter hit, so he actually can confirm it. That's the only way he can actually confirm it. Is a counter hit, stand like kick. And I I, I feel like. <sighs> Man, these footsies from Dap. Yeah, they're on point right now, and it's like 
the thing is, is like Potato Salad is making the right decisions at the ranges where Laura is good, but the, it's just it's just outclasses the characters. Though, okay, got some momentum now. Finds a dash up to throw. Stand right the meeting. Safe. That's the thing is like you know this guy has been waking up DP all set and it, you, it doesn't come. Hooligan combo to get out of the corner, confirm it to be trigger. He's gonna spin the meter. Doesn't have super. He, he can save it for his last combo. If he gets any hit now, it's it's death. He, gets, he can confirm super. He just needs one crack me kick or something. Oh, That's okay. it. Excellent decision making right there by Hot yeah. Potato Salad. Not, you know the most important part is he didn't he didn't try to jump out and he didn't spin meter. You know, he didn't spin meter when he didn't need to. Yeah. And so now he still has that super available to him. Uh, and the thing is, Laura, of course, is not going to spend it on, you know, probably super. But she's going to spend it probably on uh, some pretty e sick e uh, e EX fireball. Yeah, EX fireballs. Yeah, really not going to see EX shoulder come out here because obviously can't even really have a projectile. Oh, I like the reset into damage. It's going to do significantly more damage than if he did the medium. The momentum is in favor of Potato Salad right now. Trying to make it work. That's going to be punished. Nice tricky stuff. I like that. I like Can that. I Dap is pulling out more stuff. He's like, all right, I'm going to keep you on your toes as well. Yep. Tick throw setup as the corner. Here we go. He can go for a meaty. Oh, he puts himself in the corner. I don't agree with that. And that's going to hurt him a lot, again, especially against a character like Laura that really thrives on having her opponent in the corner. Oh, here we go. Nice. He extended clap. Go over. Nice setup. Looking for the extra the potato salad special. Is he going to find it? That's Ooh. the shoulder finally coming out. Okay. Oh. Overhead. Dap standing up. Yo, the overhead. Make a comment about how he's salty. <laughs> oh, that's not the best. We don't want the best Balrog video. <laughs> All right, so Hana Potato Salad. He's got some momentum right now. Let's see if he can make it work. Drive it all the way in. Round one. Fight. Oh, there we go. Starting, starting again. New get, new game, new round. The thing is, is like the question mark is over Dap's head right now. He's like, what has changed between now and then? Like, he's playing, he actually, <laughs> Potato Salad's able to play offense. Yeah, yeah, That's Potato Salad, yeah, exactly. You're exactly right. He's been able to get in, he's been able to make some damage count. It hasn't been all just Cami 24-7. As I say that, the clock is changing. Nice jab to check the jump. Right, so what do you what do you think about this? TR Rock said if he could make balance changes to this game, Specifically, he would lower the stun on throws across yeah. the board. Yeah, because throws do a lot of stun. A lot. To make throws maybe not so, you know, reliant or whatever whatever wording you're going to say. But anyway, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a good fucking point, man. Yeah, I always say throws are really good in this game. The thing is also, a lot of characters get paid more than others. Like Cammy, for example, it should, her should do more stun because it's akin to Rufus's and Street Fighter 4. Right. You know, it's just kind of a you know guaranteed tool. But like characters like Chun Li, like it's like right. you know they, they have it. It's not like a necessary part of their kit, but it still does a ton of stun and damage. And it's like then she can go get a stun on it. Hey, there's that stand like we talked about yep. earlier, man. Just spamming it out there and just oh, like it should. eats up the back medium punch. Potato salad so dangerous right now. Looking, oh wow, that was such a big trade. Overhead Over, going. Overhead. Overhead's going. Power coming. Is overhead. Over? We call for overhead. Overhead. Oh, okay. no, overhead. Right. no overhead. No overhead. Okay. No overhead. Okay. No overhead. Wow, and Potato Salad stays alive. Curse Chicken Waffles, he just needs to seal up one round. Can he pull it off? There we go. Again, nothing off a of forward throw because right. it's Cammy. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, every time. It's just... It's wow, just, playing with your heart right yeah, there. Yeah, playing with your heart. Oh, Brad oh wow, the TV. forward dash. He read the back dash of Curse of the Chicken Waffles. Wow, just confirm the fierce raw. Just oh, like that. No, these throws are coming out. Who's the grappling now? You need to quick tech his throws, though. Need to. Oh, that sucks. The hitboxes. Laura has no oh, reversal he's right now. Confirming the fears, just just the fears. That's insane. That's it. Oh, that's gonna be G -G. it. GG. All right, so Dat Vip will move on and good stuff to Potato Salad. I need Dat Vip and Fire Team Grand Finals, please. Fire Team trying to steal my phone. Now the, the biggest mix up here will be what stick will uh, Dap use because he was just using Fire Team stick. Alright guys, so again I want to say thank you very much for hanging out with us. Top in the Shop Halloween Edition. We're going to do... Oh hey! Hold, hold on one second. Hold on guys, be right back. We need to figure out this uh, costume contest situation really quick. Round one. Fight!
time over. Round two. Fight. All right, guys. That uh, we just did our quick little Halloween costume, whatever contest. It was just something to be fun. Uh, I'm not sure if you could see our Cami cosplayer or Cami costume in the back, but she won. She's gonna win $25, courtesy of Top in the Shop. So, anyways, just something fun. Have guys come out, enjoy the Halloween spirit. I hope you guys, if you guys have Halloween plans coming up, parties or whatnot, please stay safe, take care of yourselves, and all that. But we got no safety right now. We have Grand Finals, three out of five set coming up. Fire Team been rocking the bracket tonight with his Cami. Put her on the shelf for a hot second to play against Ray Shans and the Kali. And Dap, like I said, we have not seen him since pretty much the launch of Street Fighter V, but he is back with a vengeance tonight with his Cami, blowing people up left and right. Let's see what he's got here. So in classic Grand Finals fashion, Fire Team only needs to win three matches. Dap needs to win six. Three set after three. So according to our resident, our resident Chun-Li expert, Kong, he plays a lot of games with Alan Sun out of St. Louis who mains Cami. And he says that Cami fights Chun-Li fairly well. So why does she do that? Well, she's got solid range normals and big damage. And with the lower stamina of Chun-Li, that damage can add up in a hurry. Fire team trying to hold down back. Find himself in the corner. Picks up a counter throw. EX dive kick jumping in. Wow, nice. I like this. I like the waiting really quick. Good stuff. Fire team trying to kind of figure out when is it my turn to play. Messed up dive kick gonna work out in Dap's favor. B trigger activating. Gonna be plus. Dap on the defensive. Spin knuckle to get in. Cammy's turn to play. Fire team not biting, so I do not want to jab and get crush countered. Find some bird kick combo. Gonna find corner off this too. What's the mix up? Wake up jab, trade for both. Chun Li sitting on super. Cami on a trigger. Trying to just tap something in. Wow, the stand medium punch confirming the super. That's good stuff by Fire Team. Very excellent confirm and clutches it out. Fire Team talks about how he doesn't have a clutch factor. There it is. Both players trying to fight for neutral right now. Oh man, a little bit of nerves not getting to dap right here. He's dropped a couple of those dive kicks. Again, when you see Cami just let those stray buttons out in the air, she's trying to dive kick in. And the thing is, is like it's actually kind of a beneficial situation. Wow, finds a crushed counter off Stan's roundhouse. Chun Li, please. There we go. Straight hit. Turns into big damage for Cami. Trying to work for that corner. Fire team with the activation. Full combo in V trigger. Wow, nice throw by Dap. Trading spaces. Cami has no uh, fireball of her own, but plenty of tools to get around it, namely Spin Knuckle and EX Drill gets under. And Super, wow, nice confirm. Fire Team reels back in his seat on that. Dap and representing that Stand Fierce, or that Crouch Fierce all night in the V trigger. So this is not going to be a. Uh, Dap just really setting that precedence. Like, this is not going to be free, Fire Team. You have to earn this. Perfect example of the new generation of Street Fighter V is that Cami's dive kick was King S of FM. And now you can fight it. Now she's find herself in the corner. Fire Team going to probably have a B skill setup afterwards. Wow, stays in front. If you haven't been trained by Kong Sama, then you probably haven't seen that setup. And going to poke in there for stun. This will be enough to kill. Max damage. Fire team gonna go up one game. I think Dab's saying something about like that's a Marvel setup. Like he's probably he's like you know she flew she flew behind him but then hit in front. Like what? <laughs> All right, right back into it. Again, Fire Team only needs to lock in two more games.
fighting for neutral right now. That's just that shows the dominance of just Chun Li overall. Just those range, the ranges, and I mean that sweep even if blocked, not going to be punished. Trying to mix them up right now. Fire team's defense been pretty solid so far. Still kind of adjusting to some of these uh, relatively uh, unseen setups. I really like that confirm stand medium punch into into sweep. Chun Li going to try to get four on that fireball. Going to meet a fierce anyways. Again, Dap. Sacrificing damage for the setup, finds a throw. Trying for meaty. Scramble situation right here. Wow, that was that was tricky. I would have been holding block the wrong way for sure. Oh, and base it out. After bird legs. After bird legs. Chun Li can dash dash and be plus two. Another missed dive kick right there. And I think those crush counters, every little bit matters. EX dive kick to get in. Bird kick in the in response. Dap in the driver's seat right now. Fire team being very, very patient. Another hit confirmed stand medium punch into super. Fire team's always been an execution monster for sure. Blocking it that time, but gets caught low. Dap still has a chance to make this comeback. He's gonna need about two more hit confirms. He's got trigger on deck. deck. Will he be able to use it in time? Fire team with the safe pressure, the, just the walk forward crouch medium kicks, man. Thing is, is like that move is built ground up. It is going to stop the one thing you are trying to do in that situation, and that is walk backwards. Chun Li's walk speed very strong. On top of that, so she can just stay right there with you, like no matter what you're trying to do. The little adjustment that maybe Dap could try is just back dashing in that scenario. Even on a trade, you get the little air reset. Still very scary. Finds a cross up, no damage, still still plus. Nice footies right now, Dap on point. Finding a little opening right here. See if he can make this momentum work. The weird V reversal by Chun Li coming out. Nice mix up right there. Dap said, you're looking for throw here. I'm gonna check with the jabs. Fire team not biting. Finds a throw. Fire team not representing the throw very much, so that's very much earned. Trade on the back, medium punch. Oh no, confirmed for Dap. Overhead by Fire Team, maybe his original Bane. There it is. Oh, no confirm though. He wasn't. He wasn't sat sold on it. Any confirm? Yeah. Okay. So he could have gone low forward super right there and killed the chip, but uh, finds it anyway. Fire Team on tournament point. Ex die kick to get in. Dap trying to find a way to beat this. I see he might be walking back a little too far in those in those, uh, those those neutral abilities to to um, kind of reset the situation. I'm definitely guilty of that. Cami does, you know, she's got those long reach normals, crash meme kick, of course, to represent. Makes a little bit more even fight. Trying to shimmy fire team right now. Hasn't thrown him on wake up at all, so not really a point for fire team to wake up with any sort of dire straights. Excellent anti air, holds him in the corner. Cami sitting on a full super. Fire team just trying to kind of inch his way out. Doesn't try to challenge with the stand light kick right there. Wow, nice confirm. Is he gonna go to super? Nope, bird kick just to keep you out of the corner. Damage. Oh, okay. I'm actually can't remember what the optimal combo is for that situation. Oh, dab with a drop. Scramble situation by both players. Kami still in, still plus, and finds it. Take their setup finally. So, Seth mentioned earlier that Daff had not been throwing fire team very much. Gets paid for that one. Fire team on the offensive now, switching gears much akin to his Nash, where he will play very passive, very zoning, try to be very defensive heavy, and then all of a sudden switches gears, jumps straight into the offense. Oh no, the jump medium kick completely beating out the back medium punch too far away. He just needs one more mix up and the threat of stun will be real. But here comes Dap with a throw, nothing off of it. Fire team knows it, he's commentated on it many times tonight. Checks with a medium kick, finally a DP finds his mark. Dap confirming into tr a trigger. Probably gonna use it to try to get in, there it is. Oh man, gets the low forward. Yeah, Dap knows it, so good stuff. Man, I can't say enough good things about Daps. Cammy tonight really came out, played very, very strong, very, cons very solid and consistent. Like when I lost to his Cammy, I, I, I was like, thought about it. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's 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 a Cammy you want to like 
you were like, all right, I see how you lose this player. I need to play this guy because he knows enough about the matchup to where it's not, it's going to make me better just playing. So good stuff to Dap. Glad he's able to make it out tonight. I'm going to get this bracket caught up real fast. Again, if you guys want to follow along at home, exclamation point bracket gets you there. All right, the tournament is over. So thank you guys for watching Top in the Shop Halloween Edition tonight. Your top eight. First place, Fire Scream. Second place, The Curse of Never Ending Chicken and Waffles. Dap, of course, coming out, representing that cami. Excellent, puts his play, solid confirmed all around. Third place, Potato Salad. I made, I made the joke earlier that Kong has gone on a hiatus right now and taken his Chun-Li with him. And when one Chun-Li leaves, Another Chun-Li shows back up and uh, showing a little bit of a roadblock there against Fire Team Winners Finals. Still playing a solid, consistent lore as we've seen week to week to week that he's able to come out. So good stuff, Potato Salad. Fourth place, RT Die. Fifth place, myself, Robbie Ghoul Bota. Sixth place, Ryan's Ghost has Sonic Spire played very. I think Sonic Spire played very well tonight. Showed us some stuff. Showed us that tenacity and hopefully he's able to go into the training room in these next couple weeks and. Uh, Really get those meaty timings down. I think that's that's the important part. Uh, seventh place, Watson Chan. And eighth place, Valskaria. So again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight for this Halloween edition of Top in the Shop. Uh, special shout outs to Fire Team for helping run the stream. Watson helping run the stream. RTY was running the stream earlier. Um, Valteria was on, on commentary, or Josh and Valteria, I think, might have been on commentary for a hot minute. But anyway, thanks to our guys continue to put out the work week in and week out to make this uh, weekly possible. Uh, thanks to everybody coming out tonight. And remember, if you guys have uh, Halloween plans this week, uh, stay safe, be smart about it, all that stuff. We want to see you guys come back. And remember, the worst thing you can do when it comes to fighting games is never pick up a controller. We'll see you guys next week.